I am Miss Cayman Islands Universe. 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 Hi, I'm Mariah Tibbetts, Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2020. As I'm preparing to go off to Miss Universe in Hollywood, Florida, I'll be using Flo's pre roaming plan. And, and I know I'll be fully for the Miss Universe 2021 pageant. Thank you, Ernie, as your Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2020. Thank you so much, Cayman, for all of your love and support that you have offered me over the past year. These new nine beautiful contestants are vying for the title of Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2021. I've been honored to be a part of this their journey over the past couple of months and I can't wait for you to see how beautifully they have transformed. They have a lot in store for you tonight. Who will walk away with the crowd? Most intelligent, poised, and beautiful women to be senators for our country. The crown is truly a symbol of national internationally for our islands. Research has shown that the number one obstacle for women to overcome in reaching their potential in any endeavor is a lack of self-confidence. In doing so, our contestants have the opportunity to grow as women and be confident in any goal that they choose to pursue. Although they are in a competition, the women have helped one another and created a network of friends and colleagues for support. During their reign, the winners are given the tools to personally and professionally enrich others by dedicating themselves to raise awareness and be a voice to effect positive change in the world. It's showtime. Get ready to meet your nine contestants vying for the title of Miss Cayman Islands Universe. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please take your seats. We are ready to begin the 2021 Miss Cayman Islands Universe.
Good evening at this time to stand for prayer. And as you stand, and please bow your heads and your hearts. And let us be still for a moment. And let us consider the goodness and grief. Let us think for a moment of how good God has been to us. Father, in this consciousness, we thank you for your faithfulness to us. We thank you for these beautiful islands, the Cayman Islands, which you have founded on the seas and established on the floods. From plagues and pestilence, you have been good to us. Us. We thank you for our leadership, our member of cabinet, each member of parliament. For this difficult time, and make decisions. We ask you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And we pray, Father, that each decision that is made would be under the inspiration of your Holy Spirit and your guidance. This committee, we thank you, Father, for their labor of love, their commitment and their dedication with this committee. We pray a special blessing upon her life. A blessing from you. From Father, we pray for each contestant tonight. We pray that every feeling of anxiety and intimidation would be removed. And that each young lady will grace the stage with excellence and pride and dignity to represent themselves, their communities, and their sponsors. We pray for the judges that they would be fair and balanced. And so, Father, we commit to this name with thanksgiving. Amen.
But look at where I ended up. I'm all good already. So, so if you don't wanna see me dancing with somebody. If you won't believe that anything can stop me, don't show up, don't come out, don't start caring about me now. Walk away, you know how. Don't start caring about me now. by ladies and gentlemen, I am Georgina Fleming Herbert, contestant number three, sponsored by the MPs of Georgetown South and Georgetown West. I am representing the beautiful district of Georgetown. <laughs> I'm so 
Please stand for the singing of our national song, Beloved Isle Cayman, by Miss Erica Asai. O land of soft, fresh breezes and verdant trees. So fair with the creator's glory reflected everywhere. Oh, see a fearless emerald merging to dark hair's blue. When hear my thoughts fly God word, I always think of you. Dear Virgin set in blue, Caribbean sea. I'm coming, coming very soon, a beauteous style to thee. Although I've wandered far, my heart enshrines thee yet. Homeland fair came on You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our MC for the evening, Mr. Derek Jones. Mr. Jones is an attorney at law who has been admitted to practice in the Cayman Islands, Grenada, Jamaica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia, and the United Kingdom. He enjoys the very rare distinction of having been ranked by the authoritative guide of chambers and partners in two jurisdictions, namely Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, and in two different practice areas. Mr. Jones has served as president of the Jamaica Bar Association. He has been an honorary counsel for Sweden in Jamaica and has served as senior legal counsel for the ICC World Cricket Cup in 2007, amongst other areas of service. Mr. Jones currently serves as chairman of various funds and entities, including JN Cayman Building Society and Cayman Attorneys Regulatory Authority. Our compere for the evening is the lovely Anika Connolly, former Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2017. Anika has been involved in the pageant industry since she was nine years old and credits many of her accomplishments to the people who have supported her along her journey. She has won multiple titles and awards, having competed in several pageant systems, including Cinderella, Our Little Miss, Miss Cayman Islands, and Miss Universe. 
Her proudest accomplishment was winning the title of Miss Cayman Islands in 2017. Outside of pageantry, Anika has a bachelor's degree in globalization from the University of Western Ontario, a certificate in human resources studies, a level three certificate in leadership and management from the ILM Institute, and she is currently pursuing her master's in management at ICCI, utilizing the scholarship she won through the Miss Cayman Islands pageant. Her message to the new Miss Cayman Islands universe is to be proud of herself and get ready for the journey of a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to our hosts, Derek Jones and Anika Connolly. <laughs> saw those two skinny guys mm -hmm. you, you need to understand that the Lord made some people with some extra pounds and others they didn't make quite so perfect the extra pounds just mean you're gonna have an extra player yeah, that's no, all those two, <laughs> those two guys I must say I give them lots The credit because they were watching the moves I was teaching. Yes. Can we have another round of applause for that? I think you're going to be in for a fantastic evening. So can we have a, another round of applause for the contestants, please? <laughs> and also a special round of applause for Caitlin Tyson for choreographing that opening number and all the runway routines. Caitlin. Now, tonight, for obvious reasons, we're doing things a little bit differently. Firstly, the pageant has gone virtual in light of the COVID situation here in the Cayman Islands, which means that the audience here has to make enough noise for the 500 people who should have been in here in the first place. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah. Woo! Awesome. That don't sound very loud to me. No, it didn't? Let's okay. run through that again. Are you up the for the challenge? And what about the people outside? Can we hear them? Yep, we can yep. hear them even yep. from in here. Yep. <laughs> awesome. So welcome all, both to those present and those watching via the CIG television YouTube channel. Also on other social media platforms. There are a couple of bits of housekeeping I'd just like to mention, and then we can get them out of the way. First of all, there are restrooms outside to my left. Secondly, if anybody's not feeling well, we do have Red Cross personnel here with us. So if you're not feeling well, please let us know and we'll have somebody attend to you. And there are three emergency exits to my right, to my right, and to my right. God forbid that we, that we won't, uh, won't, won't need them, but it's important that you know where they are in case we do. For the people who are sitting outside, your emergency exit involves your going due west, don't forget to give the latitude and longitude now. Give the latitude and longitude, <laughs> and when you feel your socks getting wet, you have arrived. <laughs> All right. Well, Derek, even though we have a limited audience inside and the other attendees are outside on the lawn, we are here at the beautiful Weston Resort and Spa. So we just want to give a round of applause for Weston. Hernandez, a former pageant girl herself, serving as tonight's backstage TV commentator. 
So let's go backstage to Delisa. That was just a test. <laughs> okay, let's go backstage to Delisa. For real. <laughs> Going once? Do I hear? Let's go backstage to Delisa. Thank you so much, Derek there and Anika. Go. As you know, you guys have seen the absolutely gorgeous ladies on stage. earlier of what actually happens behind the scenes but first I'm here tonight and so you know it, it's definitely not for the feet of heart because we are you know it takes a lot of um, passion and, and you, you have to definitely be dedicated to community service because um, there's really this is really a volunteer um, role well I was just about to ask that I think that's something that a lot of the people in the community aren't aware of they assume that people are on a salary, but the reality is this is volunteer work. Everyone that's behind the scenes and of course in front is all volunteer hours going in. I have a great team, so thanks to my committee for tonight. And thanks to you, Delissa. Thank you too, and thank you for having me for the second year. Now we're gonna, thank you so much, Derry. We're gonna go and see if we can get a sneak peek behind the scenes with some of the girls. Um, hopefully, as you know, they just came off air or off stage with some of those ladies who were in uh, their dance. Can we go in? Sure, we can go to some, can we? Yeah. Come on in, come on in, come on in. All right, these girls are getting ready for swimmer. You get a sneak peek, just a sneak peek. Come on in, follow me in. All right, you see contestant number five. Hello everyone, how you doing? How was it on stage just now? Oh my gosh, it was everything that I've wanted. It was incredible. The crowd was amazing. Everybody looks so good. I'm so excited. I hope everyone's enjoying the show as well, as much as we are. I hope so as well. As you know, there are a lot of other volunteers as well, those who are putting on makeup and doing the hair. We also have contestant number three, Georgina. Tell us a little bit, of, a little bit about what your experience was like just now. It's just the first time gracing the stage. What was that like? It was absolutely amazing. I'm a dancer, so that thrill was just so exciting. It was great to see all my family and friends out in the crowd, and I'm excited for tonight. So thanks, guys. All right, can we have the camera just turn around? We have a few more ladies in here, just this way, just this way. Contestant number? Aaliyah Solomon, number two. Hi, from Boarding Town. What was the stage like earlier? The stage was great. I'm really, really excited to see everyone there, and especially just to have my family and friends support myself. It was great. All right, we're excited to see swimwear next. Come on and follow me back this way. Um, we do have Donna. You want to chat with us real quick or should we go straight back to set? Can you imagine? Donna is camera shy. That's a lie. She's actually working backstage with some of the ladies to get them ready for the front. But in the meantime, um, Mariah, can I chat with you? You know, it's, it's your time. It's your time to give up this beautiful crown. Tell me, how, how are you doing? I am great. Very, very excited for tonight. All the emotions, actually. I can imagine. What is it like, the emotions right now versus the emotions earlier when you went off to Miss Universe? Um, it's a lot more calm now because these are my people. This is my country. You know, I'm happy and proud to be here in front of everyone that I know and that I started this journey with. So it's very heartwarming. Well, let's talk about the journey now to towards the end because I'm not going to get a chat with you later I'll get maybe get to sit with you later but what is that like what is it like been working with the young ladies for this year's pageant these nine young ladies are incredible there's really not enough words to describe them I'm so proud of them they have come such a long way and it's really nice for me to be a part of that journey you know I had Caitlin Tyson my year when I was part of that journey and I remember just looking up to her so much in that bond that we had. So I'm glad that I got that opportunity to do that for these girls too. And what, what advice do you have to give to the lady that will be crowned tonight, getting ready to go to Israel at the end of the year? It's going to be hard work, but I know you can do it. You got here 
through your own hard work, your own merit. Just keep, so just keep that up. Be yourself and always hold your head high so your crown never falls. Thank you so much, Mariah. We can't wait to see you a little bit later in the show as well. And I love your dress. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, by, by who? By Miss Norma Ebanks locally. So I just have to shout her out. <laughs> It's absolutely gorgeous. I was just about to say, I have to do what ETV does and be like, who are you wearing tonight? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. And we'll see you throughout the show. I have some more of the contestants in. And we're just going to get a sneak peek of those and, and see what's going on. And then we're going to check in with the ladies behind the scenes on the social media page. Hey, ladies. How are you? I'm marvelous. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. What was it like just now? If you want to come up closer so you, you can share the, the mic. I like? was ah, it was so nerve-wracking, but it was so fun. I was like dancing and having a time of my life and giving all the attitude that I've got. Now I can't wait to get back on stage to show these judges what I got. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was really excited. I feel like I showcased my personality and that's what I'm going for. And these legs, boo. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming for these legs. But I'm looking forward to going back out there. All right. Well, looking forward to seeing you ladies strut your stuff on stage. And lastly, I'm going to wrap it up here with the ladies from Social Butterflies. You guys have been tuning in to the uh, Instagram pages, the TikToks, and all other social media that I may not know of, but definitely Instagram. And it takes so much, right, when it comes to social media. Latrice, tell me a little bit about why it's so important in pageant days when it comes to social media presence. Honestly, everybody who is anyone is on social media right now. Um, honestly, this is a really big part because internationally, this is how the girls are going to get known and how they're going to be featured across the globe through the Miss Universe um, their social websites, um, and a lot of different blogs that are around the world. Everything is connected via Instagram. So this has really been one of the most uh, important, components, especially throughout the econ economic times now through COVID. I mean, this is how we get the word out nowadays. So it is a very important, and we're so happy that we've had Social Butterflies on this team this year to ensure that everything happens seamlessly. Of course, we have our videographer team. So for social media, people just think it's just capture a, a video or a photo and just post, but there's just so much that goes on behind it. There's the design concept, the stylist, there's videographers, photographers, people who just make everything come together as well as just putting the perfect caption so for yeah. sure and i've been following uh the social media pages for such a long time you guys keep us updated thank you so very much latrice i'm gonna send it right back to those out on the stage anik we check back a little bit there with donna but back to you thank you delisa for bringing all us those happenings backstage the technology is really cool ladies and gentlemen can we have a round of applause for the the tech the tech people they've done a a super job. And of course, Anika, it's been a very hectic couple of months for our contestants with a packed schedule, public appearances, and just getting their look ready for tonight. I sympathize with them because I had a little hiccup with my hairdo, but I eventually got it done. Yes, and you look fabulous tonight, Thank you Derek. So much. But you know, the contestants aren't the only ones who have a hard job tonight. We have our five judges here who have the most difficult job of all, which is the selection of the ambassador to represent our Cayman Islands at this year's Miss Universe pageant. But before we introduce our judges, we have this coming up. Miss Universe 2021 finals. Let's give a warm welcome to our reigning Miss Cayman Islands Universe, Mariah Tibbetts.
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our reigning queen. I don't hear nothing from outside. Though. <laughs> yeah, they're out they're there. listening. They're, they're listening. There, they're <laughs> it's so important to have the support of our audience tonight to celebrate these girls and Mariah in her final walk as Miss Cayman Islands Universe. So thank you all so much for being here. And making some more noise. Yes, lots of noise. <laughs> that, that was a hint. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to introduce to you the five people who have the tough job of judging tonight's competition. The first of our five judges is Sherry Bodden Coward. She's a Caymanian barrister at law who was educated in the United Kingdom. She practiced as an attorney at law in the Cayman Islands for over 30 years, the last 20 of which was through her own firm of Bodden and Bodden Attorneys. Retiring from practice in 2019, she continues to serve as a director on various corporations within the Cayman National Bank Group. She has served on many government boards, including the Immigration Board, Business Staffing Plan Board, Electrical Regulatory Authority, and the Trades and Business Licensing Board. She was awarded an MBE by Her Majesty the Queen for services to the community, and in particular, to immigration. She's the mother of three adult children, Alex, Thomas, and Gemma, and currently lives in Northside with her husband, Wayne Cowan, where she enjoys volunteering for various projects, cooking, gardening, and travel when permitted. Sherry Martin Cowan. Our second judge is Samuel Young Jr. Samuel graduated from John Gray High School, where he won the Governor's Achievement Award and obtained a Bachelor of Science in Accounting from UCCI. Samuel now owns and operates the leading gym in the Cayman Islands World Gym, which in 2018, under his management, had its most successful year in the last 30 years. Samuel seeks to consistently add value to the lives of his clients and his staff members by running a successful business that empowers the community through health and fitness. His commitment to health and fitness in the Cayman Islands is unparalleled. In line with this commitment, he has donated considerable amounts of gym memberships to local charitable organizations to help foster a commitment to health and fitness in the community. In particular, he is an ardent supporter of employing health and fitness to, to help develop self-confidence and self-esteem. Samuel is also a trained and certified triathlon coach and an avid athlete having completed multiple triathlons. Samuel brings a wealth of knowledge and experience in the health and fitness industry to World Gym. As a current owner of one of the larger gyms on island and having run it successfully during the last three years and counting, he has an intimate first-hand knowledge of the potential pitfalls of running a gym and how to address these. As the owner of World Gym, Samuel's involvement will contribute significantly to its success. He has recently invested in real estate, which he owns outright and his development will be coming on the market in the upcoming months. Samuel Young, Jr. Judge number three is Lindsay Japal. She's a former Miss Cayman Islands, reigning from 2011 to 2015. Alongside participation in the Miss Universe and Miss World pageants, Lindsay represented Cayman for a number of local and international companies and charitable organizations. Lindsay received her Associate in Business Administration from UCCI in 2008 before attending York University in Toronto. More recently, Lindsay lived in Singapore and received her Master's degree in Marketing and Digital Management from Teesside University, one of the many opportunities afforded to her through participation in this very pageant. Now back at home, Lindsay is the Business Development and Marketing Executive at Appleby. As an alumni of UCCI, she's proud to currently serve on their Board of Governors. Lindsay Japal, ladies and gentlemen. Our next judge is Olson Anderson. Olson was born in the Cayman Islands, immigrating to the U.S. at an early age. After high school, he attended Ottawa University in the state of Kansas, USA. While at university, he started flying airplanes as a hobby, obtaining his commercial pilot license in 1985. Over the last 15 years, he has been employed with Cayman Airways. 
Prior to Cayman Airways, Olson was employed with United Airlines. Olson has served as president of the Cayman AIDS Foundation, director of the Sunrise Rotary Club, president of the Cayman Airline Pilots Association, and is the current council chairman for the National Trust of the Cayman Islands. He is currently married with two children and six grandchildren. Olson Anderson. And judge number five is Sophie Ebanks Gibbs. Sophie was born in the UK on a Royal Marine base to a Caymanian father and English mother. She has lived in Cayman since the age of three and started school at the Northside Primary School, now the Edna Moyle Primary School, continuing on to the Cayman Islands Middle and High Schools, including A-levels. She thought she sought further education in Toronto, Canada with a degree in business returning and working in the financial services arena. With 25 plus years experience in the financial industry, predominantly banking, Sophie's career has covered a wide range of positions, with the most recent position as the Chief Operating Officer and Director for Deutsche Bank, Cayman Limited. She has always continued to learn, obtaining several financial certificates and a second degree from the University of Manchester along the way. Whilst not a pageant per participant herself, Sophie has always had a clean interest in fashion and makeup. Additionally, her personal life and corporate roles have allowed her to travel the world and meet and interact with many different people and experience a wide variety of cultures. Sophie is married to her husband, Mike, for nearly 10 years, and as avid travelers, they plan to continue their exploration of the beautiful world we live in once the pandemic allows. Sophie Banks Gibbs, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Derek, the judges are going to be scoring the contestants, but we have two other important persons in the room this evening who are our talliers from Ernest and Young, and they will calculate the scores for us. I always wondered what Harry Belafonte meant when he talked about, come Mr. Tally man, tally me banana. And I believe it is a matter of counting. I think that's what the talliers do. Yes. Okay, yes. so we have two talliers with us tonight, but they're not counting banana. No, definitely, definitely not bananas. So the first of them is Tony Lindstedt, who is a senior manager in the Cayman office of Ernst & Young, which is part of the BBC region for EY's Financial Services Organization Group. She has over nine years of experience in the financial markets, her areas of focus being international tax services for Cayman Unit Trusts, along with US federal tax services for global hedge funds and partnerships. She's a certified public accountant for the state of New York and volunteers as the treasurer and sits on the board of directors for the Cayman Islands National Children's Voluntary Organization, which is a non-profit organization. Ms. Tony Lindstedt. We also have Meryl Javier. Meryl is a senior manager in the Cayman office, which is part of the Bahamas, Bermuda, BVI, and Cayman Islands region for EY's Financial Service Organization Group. He's a certified public accountant with over 11 years of experience in the financial markets, managing and ex executing assurance and advisory engagements the last six years in the BBC, of which have been in the Cayman Islands. He currently leads the Cayman reissuance engagements in the BBC and is involved with anti-money laundering audits for SEMA registered investment management companies. Meryl Javier. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, seven very important people who are going to, fi five, first of all, decide the fate, and two, verify the fate of our contestants this evening. So a special round of applause for these folks. We have a lot of very special, very important people in the building this evening, and we want to, in particular, point out the Cayman Islands government's Ministry of Tourism and Transport holds the Miss Cayman Islands Universe franchise. So ladies and gentlemen, we'd now like to welcome the Minister for Tourism and Transport, the Honorable Kenneth Bryan, with his remarks. <laughs> Ace. 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 
Let's see if you learn the moves, huh? Good evening, everyone. I think I picked the best campaign song ever. I would, before I, I say my few words, I want to recognize the Honorable, um, the, His Excellency, Mr. Roper, and his wife, the Honorable Wayne Panton, our Premier, our Honorable Minister of Planning and Infrastructure, the Honorable Jonathan Giovanni Ebanks. You're going to beat me up for that in Cabinet on Tuesday. Uh, the Honorable Deputy Speaker, Ms. Catherine Ann Wiltz. And also, I think I saw um, the elected member for Georgetown South somewhere around. I want to recognize her and our honorary parliamentary secretary, Ms. Heather Bodden. Um, good evening, everyone. That's a protocol stuff. I thought they would have said all that stuff first. If you see my speech, I said, not at all the protocol stuff right away going into my speech, but they didn't do that part, so I did it. Good evening, everybody. I know that we've had a, a bit of a delay um, in getting to enjoy the wonderful show that awaits us this evening. And I send my apologies to all of those who have been affected in one way, shape, or form by the seven days of delay. And particularly, I would like to thank you all for your understanding and the support for the government's decision to put safety first. With that being said, the truth is, actually, I just want to give the reigning Miss Cayman an extra week of her reign. Um, if she has not already been reigning long enough. Sorry, Mariah, I had to do that one to you. But I do recognize that there needs to be some level of compensation, especially for these amazing ladies and contestants that we have here tonight. And as a result, as the Minister of Tourism and Transport, which includes the responsibility for the Cayman Airways franchise and airline, I have decided to give each contestant a first-class ticket to any destination that came anyways flies. They truly deserve it, and I do accept that the government's decision has caused them another extra week of pressure, stress, and delay, and everything that goes along with it. I would like to also take this opportunity to thank all the contestants for making the choice to be a part of the Miss Cayman Universe pageant. This pageant represents so much, as the winner will be an icon figure who embodies what it stands for to be a Caymanian. The individual selected will be responsible for portraying, selling, and marketing everything Caymanian to display to the rest of the world what Caymankind is really about. So I ask you to join me in giving these wonderful ladies a big round of applause one more time. I'd like to turn my attention now to the amazing committee members who have also gone through a lot of stress over the last week, as they were so close to having all of their preparations ready to roll. And then within less than 24 hours to go, a decision was made by somebody, I wonder who was responsible for that, to postpone the show. I believe that, they, <laughs> that was me. Uh, I do believe that they too should be rewarded for all that they have been through and the pressure that we've put them under. So let's share some good news. I would like to announce as the Minister of Tourism, it is my intention that for the next budget year, the sponsorship amount for Ms. Cayman will be increased. Also, I will be seeking approval from my colleagues to add a permanent paid position to support the Miss Cayman Committee. As I, as I recognize that this committee is made up of members of all volunteers who volunteer their time to help these beautiful young Caymanian women to fulfill their dreams of being a Caymanian icon. And as if it wasn't hard enough, they also have to work incredibly hard to put on a wonderful, entertaining night for all of you in the community to enjoy. In closing, I would like to also recognize the main member of the PAC administration who offers so much support but never gets recognized or get enough recognition for her continued push for improvement and development of the Miss Cayman Committee 
and ultimately the Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant. And that person is my parliamentary secretary, Miss Heather Borden, who has been consistent, <laughs> who has been consistent in her dedication to improve, whether financially or by way of support of this pageant and this committee, which ultimately led to the various announcements I had tonight. Ms. Heather, would you show your face for me, please, right up to the stage left? I want you guys to put your hands together. Ms. Heather, oh, come up, come up, come up, come up. She, she likes to sit in the background, you see, but she is the parliamentary secretary for the, for the Ministry of Tourism. And believe it or not, I, I get all the shine and praise, but she is the background and, and, and the backbone for everything we do in the ministry for the Miss Cayman pageant. Just stay with me until I finish. Thank you. <laughs> and to close off my long speech, which I wrote by myself, I would like to say, I wish each and every one of you, each and every one of the contestants here tonight, the best of luck in this competition. And whoever will win, I know it's a bit of a cliche to say, but it's so true. No matter who wins tonight, Ladies, you are all already winners for having the bravery and the commitment to follow through with the various training and nerve-wracking interviews, either on radio or TV performances that you have done over the past few months. As for who will be selected, well, we'll soon find out. But in the meantime, I wish you all the best, and I know that you will make him and proud and your endeavors over the next year of your reign. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out tonight. And please, please don't be shy with your, cheer with your cheers, applause, and encouragement for our nine contestants. I hope you all will make lots of noise to show, how, show them how you feel with your love and support. Thank you, everyone. Please do have a wonderful evening. <laughs> Thank you very much, Minister Bryan, for those inspirational words. And we would like to again thank the Cayman Islands government for their enormous support of the pageant every year. You know, Anika, one of the things we've forgotten, there are some very nice folks out there in TV land and radio land watching. Mm -hmm. and we, we didn't really forget need, about them, actually. We, we were just waiting for them. this moment to acknowledge you, our viewers at home. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please do share the feed, share the comments, make comments, like the posts, um, you know, follow us on every social media page so that we can have the support of you recognized for this monumentous evening tonight. And I'm sure I hear some voices. What about outside? Well, I, heard, huh? I heard a cell phone. Outside? Are you hearing that? Right, they're still away. All right, they're, we're still, still, they're still there they're, with they're us. Still there. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as the ladies get ready for the swimsuit segment, it is time for us to welcome, on behalf of the Alex Pandon Foundation, the Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, Ms. Heather Bodden. She's going to provide some remarks on behalf of the foundation. And the foundation is the organization supported by this year's Miss Cayman Islands Universe contestants. The platforms provide the young women a chance to support and be a part of a cause, and giving back in this way is a great way to do that. So, Ms. Heather. Good evening, everyone. I'd first like to thank the Honorable Minister for those kind words just now. Way to go, Derry. That was awesome, thank you, thank you. This evening I've been tasked with bringing the message from the chairperson, Mrs. Jane Panton, on behalf of the Alex Panton Foundation. And I am honored to deliver her remarks and I'm so humble to accept this task. And Jane writes, good evening everyone and a special good evening to the 
nine beautiful Miss Cayman Islands Universe contestants and Miss Cayman Universe committee. I know this past week has been especially challenging for a small community, and I would like to commend the ladies on empowering through this period of heightened anxiety to let their inner as well as outer beauty shine through for you tonight. We are very grateful to the contestants for choosing the Alex Panton Foundation as their platform to raise awareness of the importance of taking care of your mental health and breaking the stigma surrounding accepting your mental health challenges and seeking help for them. The Alex Panton Foundation was formed in memory of our son Alex, who we lost at the age of 16 from suicide after suffering severe depression, a mental illness which all of his loved ones did not understand and did not know how to help or even understand the extent of the help that was needed. The foundation was formed with friends of Alex and their parents with the primary objective of raising awareness of mental illnesses affecting children and young adults in the Cayman Islands with a particular focus on anxiety and depression. By raising the awareness around mental illness, we help to educate the public that mental intervention for mental illness should be viewed the same as for a physical illness such as cancer or diabetes, which in turn helps to break the stigma of affected people reaching out to be helped. There are various initiatives that have been developed by the clinic committee and the board of the APF, which is helping to pave back pathways to mental wellness in our youth and the community as a whole. I wish I had the time to tell you all about them, but I will only mention the one that the contestants got involved in that has made great strides in breaking barriers for those in our community, seeking peer support and coping mechanisms for mental health challenges. It is an in-person support group suitably named Breaking Barriers for ages 18 to 30. And it's hosted by Shane Purcell, who facilitated similar groups in his homeland of Ireland. I would like to personally thank all of these lovely ladies for forming their own support group with Shane on a Saturday morning a few weeks ago. I've heard feedback from the Miss Cayman contestants and the committee that it was a productive meeting and the committee which helped the ladies deepen the bonds of friendship they had already been forming with each other. Shane said he learned a lot from this very vibrant support group session that can be used going forward. Thanks again to these brave young women for showing your vulnerabilities to everyone, to, an, to one another, to establish trust and lasting friendships which helps build the foundation of a compassionate and caring community. And yes, we know community builds country. Information on all of our initiatives can be found on our website, alexpanton.ky. So again, I would like to sincerely thank you wonderful young women for helping us drive our mission forward. There will only be one winner tonight, but your compassion and understanding will enable you to support your friend that has claimed the title of Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2021 in these very unsettling times. Your beauty shines through and you're all ready winners. My very best wishes to each of you with all my love Mrs. Jane Panton.
we say thank you so much to Ms. Heather and the Alex Panton Foundation for being the organization selected for this year. Do we have a round of applause? And, you know, thanks to technology, when we were back there, I was watching the show on the technician's phone. And there are 956 people watching this program. That's amazing. Amazing. But we want those viewer numbers up. So if you are watching, please tell your friends and your family to tune in as well. We want everyone on watching our live tonight as these nine young contestants vie for the title of Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2021. At this time, we would like to also acknowledge the reigning royalty that we have in the room. And we'd first like to acknowledge the newly crowned Miss Teen Cayman Islands, Azaya Thomas, as she graces us on the stage. like to acknowledge with us tonight the reigning Miss World Cayman Islands, Roshana Hyde, who will now grace the stage for us. gentlemen we're getting close to the swimsuit round but before we start we think we should take a moment to thank some of our major sponsors I know that when we start to talk about sponsors people groan and they say that's so boring but you know what but for the sponsors you would not have an event that's right. they sacrifice a lot and it is very important we recognize this and if you get an opportunity to patronize their businesses that's one of the paybacks that we really do encourage the folks here, the folks outside, and you folks out there in TV land. So our major sponsors, the Cayman Islands government, the Ministry of Tourism and Transport, Cayman Airways, Compass Media, and Radio Cayman. Our platinum sponsor, Weston Resort and Spa. Our gold sponsors, Sand Angels, Kirk Freeport, Government Information Services Video Unit, Hopscotch Productions, Seductive Beauty, Bellagio Salon and Spa, and Flo. In addition to those folks, there are other businesses that have stepped forward to sponsor individual contestants. And that's also so important because they provide encouragement and support for our lovely young ladies. And these include Personnel 2000, Waves Fashions, and Fashion Mart. I heard some applause outside. Yep, there yep, it is. There they go. <laughs> The MPs for Georgetown South and West, Cayman Rehab and Gemstar Limited, Kirk Freeport, Scott's Equipment, the Ebanks Clan, Pro Plus Gardening, King's Sports Center. And you know, I think a little special mention should be given to the, the folks at Blue Water. They have been outstanding in providing uh, masks and other protective equipment uh, especially when the, the problem started to service. So again, thanks to Blue Water for all their support. A round of applause to all of our sponsors this evening. We're so thankful for the sponsors and their continued support. 
of the Miss Cayman Islands Universe competition. Contribution, as Derek said, is so vital. The resources, the funding, and the support have been tremendous each and every single year, and it makes a difference to each of the young ladies who compete for the chance to represent our beautiful islands. So on behalf of everyone involved of the Miss Cayman Islands Universe Committee, we say a huge thank you to all of our sponsors. And you'll hear more about our other sponsors throughout the evening. Thank you very much, Anika. Now, you know, I'm beginning to wonder if this crowd is ready to see the contestants again. I haven't heard anything that no, suggests I, that I they are. I think they want to hear us you talk think so? more. Well, you all can do better than that. Are you ready? Do you want to hear more speeches? They're definitely, you're, so you're ready for our young ladies to come back out? Yeah. How what about, about outside? outside? Yeah, outside. Oh, they are ready. Yeah, they, we can hear they them are loud. Ready. They, are, yes, they yes. are ready. All right. Well, these young women have been in the gym for the past few months, at least, and are now ready to walk the stage tonight. The ladies will be wearing swimsuits from one of our sponsors, Sand Angels. And, you know, I should say, you know, they spent a lot of time in the gym. Uh, that's not one of my regular places, but I need to tell Samuel that maybe, hopefully, you'll see more of me with the result that there'll be less of me. Maybe one of you those know? charitable gym memberships could yeah, be we can, for Yeah, we, we, we can work on you that. You can talk about that after yeah. the show. <laughs> yeah, we talk about that after. During this segment, the nine contestants will be judged on their overall physique in swimsuits. It's very important, ladies and gentlemen, this segment accounts for 25% of the overall score. And the contestants are backstage, and I think they're just about getting ready to, uh, to join us, Anika. Yep. Everyone, put your hands together as we welcome our 2021 Miss Cayman Islands Universe contestants in swimwear. <laughs> Please help me to welcome contestant number one, Larissa McLaughlin, sponsored by Personnel 2000. Contestant number one, Larissa McLaughlin. As 
Celia leaves us we welcome contestant number three Georgina Crawford sponsored by the MPs for Georgetown South and West Contestant number five, Kimberly Carlos, sponsored by Kurt Freeport. Sponsored by the Evans Club. Celebrate the feeling. Go up, 
that's the number seven mark you pay back Please help me welcome contestant number eight, Aaliyah Harrison, sponsored by Pro Plus Garden Center. Sponsored by King Sports Center. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our nine beautiful contestants vying for the Miss Cayman Islands Universe title. Now, we run a very democratic shop here, and the audience, you have two choices. We can either do a couple of quick speeches for you, or we could bring the contestants back on. I'm hearing the votes are, yeah. are, are, are for the contestants. What about outside? You want the speeches? No, that no, was very no, loud and clear, no. no. That was very loud they and clear. They want the contestants to see them so, again. why don't we get them back? Ladies. Please welcome back our contestants for collective judging. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can you give it up for our nine 
the photo contest. So. Ladies, please turn. Outside is ready. Outside is ready, rip roaring to go. What about inside? How are you guys feeling? Love the energy. Just remember that tonight and every night, your support and your energy is so important for our young ladies to relax and feel great on the stage. So keep up the energy that you've got going here. And even our viewers at home, we want you to remember to like the post, share the live feed, and continue sending in your comments of all the support you're providing this evening. You know they're still screaming outside. I see, I hear them. Hear that's, that. They're loving the energy. I think the ladies are still there. They 
They're not letting them go. They, they're, they want more, more, more. And we've got more, more, more coming. Don't worry. This isn't it. There's more to come. The best is yet to come. No, that was a very important segment because quite apart from the swimsuits, this, in this part of the competition, they're judged for the best legs. So that 25% for this segment is really very, very important. Your support has been amazing, and I can tell you, if I was a contestant, there's a group over there to the left, I would hire them to follow me around, man. <laughs> Fantastic. Can we get a round of applause for the folks on the left there? No, the, the folks on the right are kind of falling behind. So we need to hear something from you over here. Yeah? Woo! So they're now headed backstage where they're going to prepare for the next segment, which is where they'll slow down a bit and come out in their amazing evening gown. Yes, Derek. And guess what? We also get the chance to change into something a little fancier for that segment as well. Yes, we do. And of course, I know that you all can't wait to see the outfits we're coming back in. Yes, he planned something spectacular. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to say, we talked about it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> but just just wait. Just just chill, all right? Maybe if you cut. All right, Derek, now it's time to check back in with our TV commentator, Delisa Hernandez, as she talks to awesome pageant girls. director, awesome. Derry Dakersley, backstage. Fabulous. Oh, good thing she started. Awesome, awesome job, girls. Good job. You guys rocked it. You guys rocked it. Oh my gosh. You guys were amazing. Almost at the end. Woo! Hey guys. Oh my gosh. The excitement. The crowd was going wild. I'm in a completely different room, far from the girls, unfortunately. But holy moly, if you could hear what was happening outside, uh, trust me, Donna, we have so many people working behind the scenes. But of course, we have to give it up to uh, the team, Cassandra Powell and Fritz McPherson. And amidst of all the drama and all the madness is you, <laughs> Donna. She's always in the middle of all the madness. We've seen her on CIG TV, came on 27 for many years, coming into our homes. And here you are again, pageant lady. Yeah, I think I should be a few pounds lighter after t after tonight. It just it just you know takes a lot of movement. Yeah. So and I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, it takes a, a a very strong team to be able to put this pageant on every year. This year, um, from what I can see so far, we've you know we've gone into TV land, and um, I think it's 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 going well. Uh, it's something that we can certainly do in the future. Uh, this is a great learning lesson for us. Uh, we've been able to, you know, see people outside, people inside, um, not the ideal conditions, but because of COVID, we've had to do this. So, you know, uh, I, I think we've been able to pull it off uh, so far. And, and in just a short time, we're going to have a new Miss Cayman Islands uh, universe 2021. But it takes a lot of people. I, you know, these young ladies have been preparing for a very, very long time. We have a team of people behind in each room. Uh, getting them ready, make sure that they're sprayed, that their hair is done, that their makeup is flawless, uh, so that when they walk that stage before the judges, that they're just looking their very, very best. Most definitely, and they are looking absolutely amazing. And I think the crowd is enjoying themselves inside and outside. I think yeah. there's a lot of spunk going on outside with horns and all kind of stuff out there. I wish I was outside. They're like having the greatest time outside. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard the screams, but Donna, you are also one of the ladies, or the main lady backstage, ensuring that the girls are getting dressed and coming out on time. What is that like? What's the, what's, what's the, you know, feeling like? It's, it's, it's an adrenaline rush. I mean, it's, it's kind of, you know, it very much involves time management and um, we're, to we're always getting calls from, uh, from our stage manager, Cassandra Powell, who does an amazing, amazing, incredible job every year uh, helping us with this pageant. because She's part of the committee in the former Miss Cayman Islands. And, you know, I work in tandem with her. She gives me time cues. I get the ladies ready. It's a lot of yelling. I'm yelling a lot. We've got, you know, giving them the time cues. And things happen backstage, you know. Uh, we got people getting makeup on their, on their attire. Different things are happening um, throughout 
throughout the night that you have to kind of out fires. So yeah, but it's, it, it takes a team. It takes a big team. All right. Well, thank you so much, Donna. I'm going to send it right back over to Derek and Anika. I'll be checking back in. We'll be talking wardrobe. All right. Thank you, Delisa. So glad to hear about what's going on backstage. backstage. And we just heard about what goes into putting on this pageant. And so we know this night couldn't be possible without our sponsors. So now is a good time for us to mention our remaining sponsors and other individuals who make this night a success. Yeah, as we said, you know, it's just not possible for these events to take place without the generosity of our sponsors. And when you hear all of this stuff that goes on behind the scenes, you know that it takes commitment and money and resources. So we really do thank the Ministry of Tourism and Transport, Compass Media, Radio Cayman, King Sports Center, Cayman Airways. And our platinum sponsor this year is the Westin Resort and Spa. And our silver sponsors this year are Ula La Boutique, Foster's Food Fair, and Cuts and Curls. Our bronze sponsors are Renee Worms, Maggie Jackson, Marcus Cumber, Shani Mayorkin, Parcel 110, Funky Tangs, Webster's Tours, Lobster Pot. And we certainly can't forget our trainers, Caitlin Tyson and Kimberly Connolly. Please give them a round of applause. And just so that you know, the trainers also work on the MC. And so if you see the kind of special look tonight, the, the trainers get credit for that, or debit, depending on how you think about it. So again, a special thanks to our contestant sponsors and all the other individuals and companies that help to make tonight possible. And if you have a look at our program, you'll see there's lots of information in there about our sponsors and supporters. So please, please do support them. Yes, and I think right now the audience is wondering how the judging is going to work this evening. So we had the swimwear segment, which you've already mentioned is 25%, but what else goes into the score tonight is the morning interview which happened last week Saturday and that's 25% of the overall score. Then for the remainder of this evening we also have the evening gown which is another 25% and the final on stage question which is another 25% giving us our final score for the new Miss Cayman Islands universe. And so the evening gown segment ladies and gentlemen is coming up next and this is where the young ladies will display their grace and their elegance. And as the ladies continue to prepare, we'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the contribution of a long-standing member of the Miss Cayman Islands Universe Committee. So please welcome to the stage Miss Heather Bodden. And to present a special token of appreciation from the committee, please also welcome the chairperson of the Miss Cayman Islands Universe Committee, Miss Derry Dakers Lee and a committee member, Ms. Lavinia Evans. It's the music. You are so beautiful. To me. You are so Special round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for outstanding and long-serving contributions. Yes, I know during my reign, Miss Heather and I spent many, many days uh, with her mentoring me and helping me through my reign to make sure that I always showed up in the best way possible um, as Miss Cayman Islands. So thank you, Miss Heather, so much for your contribution. So now, everyone, we're going to have a 15-minute intermission. 
and we'd like you to get to know our contestants a little bit better during this, during their uh, journey through the Miss Cayman Islands pageant. So we'll have some interviews being shown on the TV screens. Please note also that the cash bar is open. But maybe please don't enjoy the cash bar too much because we don't need you too raucous in here when you come back. But enjoy yourselves, relax. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Thank you all so much. You've been a wonderful audience. With a perfect smile, perfect body with a perfect smile, perfect body with a perfect smile. Yeah, yes. My girl, you a champion, bubble like a bubble for a cause, bubble for a cause, girl, bubble for a cause. When you a bubble point, you make eye pass, girl, like you make me no sir. Don't give a pass. Tell you I'm a dura when I'm moving so fine, dura pain no pain, it's a dunya baby. When you're in the mood, I'm a mirada, set the face, I'm not a para porque ella te puede abatir. Ven, dame un canto. If your man not tell you the things, then baby, tell me they are for you. Right now you have my attention, my girl. If I know music, then I do. Girl, come wind up your body and whisper in a me ears later when you want to go. Let me run, me need you, pick up, assist me. Help me set up my flow. Get your skin clean, get your smell nice. Your smile so beautiful. You are my choice, baby, you Perfect, 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 you got that a pretty little smile. Got you anywhere from a mile, baby. Lock it in your profile. No spam, no bad little bits, baby. Uh, a a full of light, never boring. Flawless to the flooring. Mm -hmm. Baby, you give me a new meaning to life. Change your moves. Hey, they got nothing on you. Mm -hmm. I you got nothing to prove. Ah, uh, uh, you are my eye. Come on, 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 You are the best, at the best, baby. Ah, come on, 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 Look how long me and the girl dating. 
And I am up the question as yet. I'm busy chasing birds and the fat of the pain. This year, I am gonna do the same thing. Oh, 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 o
So welcome back everyone. As the contestants complete their finishing touches, please welcome to the stage the very talented Erica Asai to entertain us. Please give her a big round of applause. your waist like that? It's been a long time. Okay. <laughs> we said we might need some WD-40. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you so much, Erica. Now, tonight's winners, thanks to our generous sponsors, will receive some amazing prizes, and the list is included in your program. The nine contestants competing tonight are really very lucky as contestants because over the years, since the 90s in particular, 
contestants have really been fortunate to have so many wonderful prizes, including a scholarship, a car, local and international wardrobes, and lots of other good stuff. Yes, Derek, you're so right. The pageant has evolved so much over the years and it continues to get better and better and better. And so we're going to now list off the prizes for the second runner up, which is a two year educational scholarship valued at 2,500 per year. Um, a one free round trip airline ticket to the sister islands, compliments of Cayman Airways. A two night stay at Kaibo 7 Up, compliments of Lynn Bodden. Gift certificates to Lash Out, JD Beauty Salon and Barbers, the Blue Hair Salon and Spa, and life, comp life Coaching, compliments of Hope's Dwellings. The first runner-up also has quite a wonderful selection. It's a two-year educational scholarship valued at $2,500 a year, flowers, one free round-trip airline ticket to Miami, life coaching, a six-month gym membership, gift certificates, compliments of the Blue Hair Salon and Spa, JD Beauty Salon and Barbers, and finally, a gift certificate from Lash Out. And the winner will receive. Do we want to share this? She's going it's to a get very a lot. long list. Yeah, so let's I think share we've it. got to share it. share it. She's going to receive a crown, a seventy thousand dollars scholarship, a two thousand nineteen Kia K three, one year employment with the Department of Tourism, flowers, and pageant travel compliments of Cayman Airways. A photo shoot, one year service plan, a two night stay compliments of the cottages, a three hour cruise or care one year of hair services, one year of makeup services, and gift certificates, compliments of De Blue, Agave Restaurant, and the Grand Old House. She'll also receive a photography session, compliments of Philip Richter, a gift certificate, compliments of JD Beauty Salon and Barbers, social media training, compliments of Social Butterflies, gift certificates to the Wharf Restaurant and Bar, and Lash Out, a one-year gym membership with King Sports Center, life coaching, a one-night stay compliment of the, rest, the Westin Resort and Spa, the coat of arms pendant compliments of Prodigy Jewelry, house cleaning and one year of car cleaning services compliments of G&A Spectacular Cleaning. And a luxury charter compliments of Family Time Water Sports. That is an amazing list of prizes, ladies and gentlemen. Wouldn't be possible without our sponsors, so Again, another word, another round of applause for the sponsors. Tonight, we have an additional award, the People's Choice Award, which is sponsored by Compass Media. This prize is voted on by you, the public, and the winner of the People's Choice will receive another very wonderful set of prizes. Which is a plaque and a two-night stay Compliments of the cottages. We should say that the People's Choice Award does not um, contribute to the overall score. Yes, it is in fact separate from the overall score. Remember that the girls tonight are being judged on swimwear, the morning interview, the evening gown, and the onstage question. And of course, as you've heard, a whole lot of work has gone into tonight's show. So we'd like to go backstage to Delisa to hear a bit more about the wardrobe preparations for the pageant with the stylist for Miss Cayman Islands Universe, Mr. Kevin Dawkins. Delisa? All right, it is that time of the show where, that we've all been waiting for, the time where we see the ladies grace us with their evening wear and all that beautiful just stunning look but before we get into that because we have a little bit more before we do we're going to talk to Kevin. Kevin has been working with the ladies for the past few months focusing on wardrobe and getting them ready and I just really want to know Kevin you know what has been going on how has that been going you know locally let's talk locally getting them ready for their appearances here. Locally, it's just been a lot going on. It's nine different girls, nine different personalities, body types. Um, so you, it, it, it's, you have to know how to handle each girl 
what looks good on each girl, this might look good on contestant number one, might not look good on contestant number 10. So it's, it's, it's a lot that's going on and you have to kind of tap into the personalities and, 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 and try different things because you might say, hey, try this and oh, I don't like that. Or, you know, so you have to say, hey, you say, I, what I like to do is I say to you, when we go to the store, I go to the store with them and say, hey, I want them to go gravitate to the things that, that they like. And then we work from there and then we see how the personalities go. And then I can say, hey, this might look better. And you would try this and they'd be like, oh, I, didn't, I would never try this before. So it's a lot that goes into the preparation, you know, you know locally. Now, first of all, you know, every piece of garment that they wore tonight was definitely different. I think it highlighted, especially when we're speaking specifically uh, to swimwear, it spoke to their personality. It spoke to, you know, their confidence on stage as well as people behind the stage as well, you know. But having the confidence and having all of the prep work put in gear locally for the local pageant, do you feel that you've gotten those ladies prepared for the international stage? We try our best to um, let them watch videos, look at the past pageants, Miss Universe pageants and different pageants, different um, um, ladies that have won the pageants and stuff like that to say, hey, these are some things that you need to look at, watch out for and stuff like that. When we went to San Angels to pick out their swimsuit, I said, I wanted you, I picked out a couple of swimsuits and I said, I wanted you to tell me the ones that you feel more confident in. So if you notice that they're not all wearing the same swimsuits tonight, I wanted to give them the opportunity to, to kind of bring out their own personalities. They were able to wear their different accessories <coughs> and shoes to accessorize their swimsuits to, to their liking, you know, and to make sure that it's, it's, it's in, it, it's, you know, we're making sure that we're following the guidelines as well too, so. But I, I do think that we have given them the, the platform to, to definitely transition into the international stage. I mean, they do have uh, big shoes to follow. You had Lindsay, you had Caitlin, you had Monique, you had Mariah. They, like, they walked the stage at Miss Universe and represented the Cayman Islands. Absolutely gorgeous and stunning outfits, gorgeous and stunning costumes. So, you know, you have your work cut out for you. It's it's very short time. What do you think? Listen, listen. They know they have big shoes to fill, but the good thing is we had Caitlin on board, we had Monique on board, we have Mariah on board. Um, all assisted and helping in different ways, shape, and form to help, to, to help guide them and to help plummet them to that split, um, space that they need to be before heading off to Miss Universe. And I believe Lindsay's one of the judges, so she knows what she's looking for to send overseas as well, long, as long as, along with the other judges that are sitting alongside her. De most definitely. Lindsay, of course, graced the stage with Miss, U Miss Universe as well, so she knows exactly, you know, what they're looking for and, and, and how to, you know, judge these girls and, and make sure that we, we send the right person away. Well, we're definitely going to pray for you and your patience and all your guidance as well. I guess you get the, the one who's going to be crowned in the next few minutes uh, to go over to Miss Universe. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you. All right. Well, that's it for me backstage. A little bit later, I'm going to be joining Anika on stage for evening wear. Thank you. Back to you, Anika and Derek. Thank you, Delisa. Can't wait till you join me here on stage as well. And thank you also to Kevin for the wonderful work that you do. Um, we are going to now welcome to the stage the Miss Cayman Islands Universe Committee Director, Derry Dakers Lee. Derry was born in Cayman Brack, and she's very proud of her island and its people. She is the daughter of the late William and, and, and Elda Dakers. She is a former Miss Teen Cayman Brack, first runner up in Miss Teen Cayman Islands, and first runner up in the Miss Cayman Islands pageant. She served as secretary on the Cayman Islands Music Association Board for three years. Derry is the founder of the Lean On Me charity and has a passion for helping people in need in the Cayman Islands. Derry is a corporate manager at State Street and she is the proud mother of, da of David and Demay Lee. Please welcome to the stage, Miss Cayman Islands Universe Committee Director, Miss Derry Dakers Lee. If you're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round and you can't find a fighter but i see it in you so we can walk it out Ooh, mountains we can walk it out and move. good evening everyone protocol having been established welcome to the miss kim and islands universe pageant it's been an eventful week but we're here god is good
It's also been an eventful period since her last pageant in 2019, Khadijah Baden, who is sitting right here in front, was a winner in 2019. Unfortunately, shortly after Khadijah returned from the 2019 Miss Universe pageant in Atlanta, COVID-19 reached her shores. And her reign was not filled with the usual events and, act and community activities. In any, in any event, she represented us outstandingly. We held a crowning in 2020 instead of her traditional pageant, her first runner-up for the 2019 pageant, Mariah Tibbetts was crowned as the Miss Kim Islands Universe in September 2020. Mariah represented the Kim Islands at the Miss Universe pageant in May of this year, where she graced the world stage with confidence and poise. I'm sure everyone remembers the beautiful costume she wore that received excellent reviews globally. It was truly a beautiful Cayman sunset story entwined in a costume designed by Danielle Watler. We watched Mariah transform into a role model for the youth of the Cayman Islands, and we are very proud of her. We wish her all the best in her future endeavors. The pageant has evolved tremendously over the years in terms of development for the young ladies entering the pageant. As with any organization, there's always room for improvement as we strive for excellence. And so we welcome your constructive suggestions. We are transcending from society's view of an established ideal of what they perceive a contestant to look like. At times, our young ladies are left to feel inadequate and that they're not good enough to be in a beauty pageant. So we're working hard to encourage diversity and inclusiveness to avail the opportunity so that every young Caymanian lady that meets her criteria can see themselves embarking on this journey. Our nine contestants are talented, beautiful, intelligent young ladies that show up strong in all they do. The past few months have been filled with lots of events, training, photo shoots, and other activities. The journey will no doubt be the threshold to their future. Our contestants and title holders alike have a track record of taking up leadership roles in our community. Our platform this year is the Alex Panton Foundation. This platform is chosen from the feedback from our contestants at orientation. The foundation was established in the memory of Alex Panton who succumbed to the effects of severe depression at the age of 16. The statistics show that one in three Cayman youth have thought of committing suicide. We have seen how social media has evolved into a platform for cyberbullying. We see this each year with our young ladies entering the pageant. As they aspire for greatness, the distasteful remarks can deflate them. Life can be difficult for us as adults at times, and so for our young people, life can seem so much more overwhelming, especially from crude remarks on social media. Let us not lose sight of compassion and love for one another, which has always been the Caymanian way, and we call it Cayman kind. Please continue to support and encourage our young people to believe in themselves and be the best version of themselves. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my gratitude to the Honorable Premier, Mr. Wien Panton, for supporting the pageant. It meant a lot to the committee and the contestants when he took some time out of his busy schedule a few months ago to visit us and chat with us at the government admin building. Thank you. Special thanks to the Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Kenneth Bryan, and his team for the support that they have given the committee. Minister Bryan has been a huge supporter of the Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant over the years in many ways, and we are very grateful for his unwavering support in our mission to elevate young Caymanian ladies. A special thanks to the sponsors who continue to support us wholeheartedly. As we continue to gain the support of the private sector, we will work to ensure that whoever is chosen as Miss Kim and Allen's universe tonight 
will be groomed to compete at international standards and represent us with grace, confidence, and pride. Thanks to my committee and volunteers, some of you work tirelessly with me without pay to make sure this all happens every year and you do it because you are passionate about developing young ladies to become role models in the community. I cannot thank you enough. Lastly, I would like to encourage the contestants to never give up on their dreams and ambitions. No matter what obstacles come your way, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us for she is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Good luck to you tonight. Thanks for attending once again. Enjoy the rest of the evening, and God bless. Broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. You can find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we can walk it out. Ooh. Thank you so much to committee down. director Derry. You and your committee have done an excellent job again this year, and I can personally attest to just being the recipient of the dedication, the commitment, and the support of all the committee members. And even four years now, I can't believe time has gone by that fast. Um, I'm still so grateful, and the, the support that they provided was so memorable. So thank you once again, Derry. And ladies and gentlemen, you'll appreciate that my experience of beauty pageants is quite limited. I thought I, you had all kinds of awards and titles. We were talking about this. Yeah, I know. but He's, that was he's keeping it hidden. Yes, definitely. But I just wanted to say that I've been involved in the last week or so with the rehearsals. The dedication and intensity that the volunteers bring to this pageant are absolutely amazing. And I really think that there is leadership is a big part of that. So please big up Derry and the whole committee again. <laughs> now, there used to be a hymn that was played in church that spoke about nearer and nearer draws the time, the time that shall surely be. Well, I don't think DJ Carlos has a version of that, but I'm telling you. They may have a remix version. You may I have know. a remix to a reggae beat of it or something, but dance hall. But we're getting closer to that time, ladies and gentlemen. And um, nearer, nearer draws the time. That's right, Derek. And you know, just as we we're talking about how close we're getting to the time, Forgive me, if you will, a few moments of reminiscing. I know exactly how these girls are feeling. They are now in their evening gown, the gown that they have spent weeks and months choosing to have that perfect look when they come on stage. And they're feeling beautiful, they're feeling elegant, but they're also feeling very nervous, very anxious about getting on stage to perform for you. And they just are so excited for the opportunity and if, if it's anything like my experience, they're reflecting on their journey, how far they've come, how much they've grown as a person, and how much support that they're seeing from the community. So it's a wonderful experience, but it's, it's also a little nerve wracking sometimes. You speak about the support of the community. How important is that to the contestants? I mean, it's something we hear all the time, but you've been there, done that, have the t-shirt. What does it really mean to you as a contestant? Yes, I literally have a t-shirt that says Miss Cayman on the back. Um, <laughs> but honestly, the support of our community and our sponsors, it, is, it knows no bounds. First of all, for our sponsors, it's a monetary um, support that they provide for our gowns, for our makeup, our hair. I, I spent most, of, uh, not most, but a lot of my time in salons prepping for events. And then also just being a part of the community, spreading awareness. One of the most important things is being a voice for the vulnerable in our community and getting to represent the different platforms. So, you know, we can't do that without the community behind us and supporting us and cheering us on because there are some days where we feel like, are we making a difference? Is, does it matter what we do? And when we hear from the community, when we hear from you, you know, the impact that we have, it lifts our spirits. So just continue supporting these girls and being there for them, cheering them on, and showing them the energy that you've been showing them all night. Can I hear it again for our nine contestants? And 
outside people they're starting to ramp up in here you know we need to hear you yeah competition there we go there they go there they go all right so, so before we move into the evening wear segment we have a special treat for our audience on the outside so you're getting rewarded for all of the energy that you've been bringing so let's welcome we're going to turn it over to outside to uh, our committee member miss lavinia ebanks who's going to help us with our raffle prizes but first, I think we're going to see a video. Is that right? Hi, Cayman. It's your girl, Narissa McLaughlin, contestant number one, representing the beautiful district of Easton. And this year, I competed because I want to be an ambassador for our islands. I want to teach all the little girls and everyone in our community that anything you put your mind to, you can accomplish. Once you have God in anything that you do, he will make a way for you. So far, my journey has been exciting. I've learned how to publicly speak in front of people. That's something that I could not do. But here I am before I could walk, but now I got it down five. Thanks to Caitlin. <laughs> I am contestant number one, representing the beautiful district of Easton, proudly sponsored by Personnel 2000. Hello, Cayman. I'm Aaliyah Solomon, contestant number two, and I'm hailing for the district of Bowdoin Town. I am proudly sponsored by Fashion Mart. The reason why I decided to join Miss Cayman Islands Universe is I've always had an interest in pageantry. To be able to watch women allow themselves to step out of their comfort zone and truly show to everyone it's okay to believe in yourself as sky is the limit. Having a younger brother who has autism and severe dyspraxia and speech impairment has taught me that it is okay to be different in this world, to love unconditionally and to treat others how you wish to be treated. And if I were crowned Miss Cayman Islands Universe, I would demonstrate this to my beautiful Cayman Islands and also around the world. As one of my favorite sayings is, actions speak louder than words. And I am hailing from my beautiful district bought in town, and I am proudly sponsored by Fashion Mart and Waves. I am Georgina Fleming Kerford, contestant number three. I entered the Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant because I want to grow as a role model and be an inspiration for the Cayman youth. I am so proud to be a part of this pageant. We have had so many trainings from public speaking, to walking, to runway, to dance, and so much more. It has been an inspirational journey and one that I will never forget. I have grown so much as a young woman, and I can't wait to see how much more I am going to grow. With this opportunity, I want to become more of a role model. And if I win, the scholarship will be the biggest help for me to go overseas and pursue my degree in education, as I want to become a teacher for the youth. I am Georgina Fleming Kerford, contestant number three. Sponsored by Barbara Connolly and David White, representing the beautiful district of Georgetown. I am a strong believer that God's timing is perfect and that dreams do come true. I've always been passionate for pageantry, especially for the Miss Cayman Island universe. Just watching phenomenal and wonderful women being leaders and great example for society had also made me want to be a phenomenal role model. I have drive and determination to represent my country locally and internationally as an ambassador of the Cayman Island. If I was chosen and crowned to be the next Miss Cayman Island Universe, I will dedicate my crown to empowering young women like myself to be the best version of themselves, to always follow their dreams and to never give up. I am your contestant number four, Tanya McLean, probably sponsored by Cayman Rehab Services and Gemster Limited, representing the beautiful district of Georgetown. I've entered the Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant as it's always been a dream of mine. It's something that I've highly aspired to be a part of as I want to serve the community and continue to give back throughout the many years and have a much larger platform, reaching out as many people as possible, both locally and internationally. Throughout this whole experience, 
I've learned that Cayman has the most beautiful, diverse, strong, and resilient women that I've ever met. I am so honored and proud to be a part of my pageant sisters, and I can't wait for all of you to see us tonight and enjoy the show. It's going to be wonderful, and know that the journey does not end here. I am Kimberly Carlos, your contestant number five, proudly sponsored by Kirk Freeport and representing the beautiful district of West Bay and Cayman Brack. Although joining the Miss Cayman Islands Universe competition was not the first thing on my mind, I thought it would allow me to gain the confidence that I was looking for. It allowed me to get out of my shell and gain new experiences like life coaching, runway training, hair and makeup, wearing heels and others. I'm so proud to be able to represent Bond in Town and I hope that I'll be able to represent the Cayman Islands on the international stage. I'm proudly sponsored by Scott's Equipment LTD. And I can't wait to be your Miss Cayman Islands Universe. I entered the Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant for three reasons. One, to prove to myself and others like me that we deserve this, that we deserve to take up space. Two, to challenge the status quo in terms of beauty standards. And three, to enact change by connecting our community members with the resources that they need. I have learned the importance of time management and also of spending valuable time with my friends and my family members, as it has been a struggle to find time to do that during this journey. My name is Marquita Kimberly Ebanks. I am contestant number seven, and I'm representing the district of Bodden Town, proudly sponsored by the Ebanks Clan. I decided to enter Miss Cayman Islands Universe because it has always been a lifelong dream of mine, as well as to become a role model in the community to inspire young ladies. I decided to enter also to promote tourism and to speak long-term solutions with the government officials to protect our island's natural environment. The hardest thing I had to overcome being a part of Miss Cayman is public speaking, but I learned that the more you practice, the better you can become. I am proudly representing the district of West Bay and proudly sponsored by Pro Plus Garden Center. Thank you. I decided to enter the Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant as a way of marking my homecoming. I recently moved back home in December after being away, going to school, and being able to really understand myself as an artist. And now I'm back, and what better way to celebrate my homecoming and finding home within myself than being back at home and doing the Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant. Along this journey, I've been thrilled to work with the committee and have the support of all of the people that have been responsible for our development and our personal growth and have really fostered an environment for us to step into our power as women. This journey has been one that has really allowed me to dream even bigger and really understand what my potential is as a woman and I'm, I'm so grateful for what, what it has taught me so far. I'd like to thank everybody who has been a part of this journey with me and a huge and special thank you to my sponsor, King Sports Center. Without you, I could not be here today. Thank you so much. Thank you to the committee and thank you to my fellow Caymanians. I am Ashley Crow, contestant number nine, hailing from Georgetown, proudly sponsored by King Sports Center. And then, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for those fabulous videos and the people who worked on them. But before we move into the evening wear segment, we have a special treat, as Anika said, for the people on the outside. There's going to be a raffle, and it's going to be run by committee member Miss Lavinia Ebanks. She's going to draw the prizes. We're going to ask for your cooperation. Listen carefully. So when you hear the number, you put up your hand so you know you've won the prize. I used to have a sign in my house that said, I never repeat gossip. So listen carefully the first time when I tell you. So the same is going to be true for Miss Lavinia. Listen carefully. She's going to call the numbers, and you need to put up your hands. Miss Lavinia.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sitting outside under a beautiful sea breeze tan. As a special treat, we have some raffle prizes that were donated by our sponsors, CUC, Lloyd's Smokehouse, and Casanova Restaurant. We have 11 of them. This afternoon before everyone was seated, we went around and put on different chairs, different color ribbons. So if you look on the left-hand side of your chair, you may see a ribbon. If you find a ribbon, just hold on to it. We will call the color, and that will be your prize. It's a ribbon this The left-hand side of your chair. <laughs> Okay. All right, the first one is the $50 gift certificate from Lloyd's Restaurant. It has a gold ribbon. Our, our co-host Laura will come down. Mm -hmm. The second one is a Lloyd's gift certificate. It's a dark Christmas green. For fifty dollars. Thank you. We have a twenty five dollar gift certificate from Casanova. It's pure white. We have another $25 gift certificate from Casanova. It's bright red. Can you get the red one? Just stand up and help Laura see you. Good. Another $25 gift certificate from Casanova. It's a pale pink. Pale pink. If you stand up, she'll see you. We're good? Oh, a red one? Red passing over 25. Vibrant red. On the left hand side, hand side of, of your chair. chair. Just, a, just a little piece of ribbon. ribbon. Okay, the $25 gift certificate from Casanova Restaurant. It's bright white. Okay, okay, we're going to go to the CUC. There's a pale lime green. $100 gift certificate from CUC. Pale lime green. There's a teal blue green $100 gift certificate from CUC. Teal blue. Thank you guys for helping us out. There's a dark royal blue ribbon for CUC $100. Dark blue. There's a lovely purple $100 gift certificate from CUC. Purple. Purple. Um, there's uh, the purple. There's a beautiful lime green, lime green, $100 gift certificate from CUC, lime green. No lime green? Look again on your left. We counted them. There were 11. Lime green? What about that Christmas red? and a bright orange. We have two left. Let me 
case somebody took them off. Okay. Just give her the one. All right. Thank you. Okay, bright red. Going once, going twice. Thank you. It's going to this lady right here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to the pageant. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thank you, Miss Lavinia, and congratulations to our raffle prize winners. Now, Derek, I think I heard some chatter from the in indoor audience. I mm -hmm. gather that they think it's unfair that they didn't get any raffle prizes. Yeah, but then See? they could go sit outside. That's true. That's easy. Yeah, and remember, you guys got the nice, cool AC. Yeah. You got the first-hand look and everything. So, it, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so right, we'll, we'll work on that next yeah, time then. But, but in the meantime, don't be grudge. Don't be grudge. <laughs> so I think we're really getting ready now for the evening gown segment. And during this segment, we'll have the opportunity to see and hear the contestants for the beautiful and intelligent young women that they are. Yes, and Derek, this segment is actually going to be in two parts. Mm -hmm. So each contestant will appear here on the stage in their evening gown of choice and then they will make an appearance outside. After which they're going to return to the stage where we will ask each contestant a question. And this year, as we've done in the past, the question will be the same for every contestant so that everyone is on a level playing field. And when each contestant has been asked their question and given their answer, the, uh, while the, the contestant is asked the question and giving her answer, the other ladies will be enjoying music in their headsets. And we've used this system in the past. It's been tested and retested. So we know it works and we're ready to go. Now, Anika, for the people who are doubters or who may be conspiracy theorists, does that headphone thing actually work? I mean, you really can't hear? Yes, I am speaking from firsthand experience. When the headphones were placed on my ears, I was met with really loud soca music. Okay. I don't remember what songs were playing because I was like focusing on my question and, or sorry, focusing on my, you know, trying to remember everything that I practiced, but I could not hear anything besides the soca music. And it was actually quite hard to maintain my composure because you know us, when we hear soca music, we want to get down and dance. And so I had to, you know, maintain my composure. I'm on stage. I'm, you know, vying for the title. So yeah, but it does work. You can't like hear anything. It's crucial to hear that from somebody like yourself because it speaks to the integrity of the process and that's very, very important for everybody, including a wonderful television audience out there. Yes, yes. And so this is an important aspect of the evening and it counts for 50% of the total score, 25% for their appearance in gown and 25% for their ability to answer the question. Now remember, the other 50% will come from their swimwear that they did earlier and the interview that they had last week, Saturday. Now, in this segment, the ladies will also be judged for Best Smile and the Best in Gown Awards. And during the onstage question, the judges will consider their intelligence as well as their communication skills. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready to see our nine contestants in their beautiful evening gowns. I don't know. Does it sound like they're ready? I know. I don't sound. I didn't even hear outside. Uh, yeah. Outside, yeah. are you ready? Outside is ready. Oh, yeah, they're ready. Outside is ready. <laughs> now, during this section, I will go backstage and hand over to my beautiful co-host and TV commentator, who are much better able to handle this part of the competition. But there's a backstory. When this was being discussed, I told the committee, I don't know too much about gowns. They said, that's a red card, straight red, you're out of here. <laughs> but you've done well, though, during our practices leading up to this. You, you've shown real promise. Well, I hope He's I learning. A, I got a smiley face on my report there you card. Go. Gold star. Yeah. So, Delisa, we need you up here to talk about gowns and to join Anika. Let's welcome Delisa to the stage, everyone. And I'm out of here. Oh, now, now 
you're I'm taller right than now. Me. Look at that. I'm taller than you. Yes. This is the first time in history I will, I will ever, ever be taller than anyone except my nieces. But that doesn't count. <laughs> this is great. The weather is great up here and everything. It's nice. Welcome to the club. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure to be with you all here today. I am ready for this section. Is anyone else ready? Is just as ready as I am? Yes. I'm so excited. All right. And it's tonight, la the ladies will be assisted by members of the Cayman Island Miss Cayman Islands Universe Committee members, Kevin and Thor. All right. So I think our ladies are ready backstage. Are you all ready, audience? All right. Please welcome your 2021 Miss Cayman Islands Universe contestants in evening wear. Please welcome contestant number one, Narissa McLaughlin, Miss Personnel 2000. special needs. Thank you. 
gentlemen, number two, Miss Aaliyah Solomon. <laughs> Please help me welcome to the stage contestant number three, Georgina Kerford, Miss MP Georgetown West and South. Number four, Tanya McLean.
please welcome contestant number five, Kimberly Carlos, Ms. Kirk Freeport. by Sherry Hill. Kimberly Carlos. Please welcome contestant number six, Antonika Ebanks, Miss Scott's Equipment. Nika's gown is created by Larry at LM Fashions.
Contestant number seven, Marquita Ibanez. Please welcome contestant number eight, Aaliyah Harrison, Miss Pro Plus Gardening Center. Contestant number eight, Aaliyah Harrison. Please welcome contestant number nine, Ashley Crow, Miss King Sports Center. more of the label. mountain bike down the world's most dangerous road, also known as the Death Road in La Junga, Bolivia. gentlemen your nine 2021 miss cayman islands universe contestants in evening wear give them a round of applause anika those ladies look absolutely gorgeous absolutely stunning we've seen them on in many different outfits tonight but right now i really want to see those gowns once again i, I think agree. we should bring them out i think so audience do you agree 
What about those in TV land? Do you agree? What I about hear them. Yeah, I can hear them. What about those of you outside? Do you think we need to see them again? Oh yeah, oh, I'm here. Sure. Them. All right. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's time. Let's, Let's do bring it. them out. Ladies, Wait. please Wait. join us on stage once again. Stunning contestants will be serenaded by the talented Rico Rolando. Please put your hands together for Rico. Fine light, beautiful sea, I chose to be happy. You and I, you and I, we like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star I see, vision of ecstasy. When you hold me, I'm alive. We like diamonds in the sky. I knew that we become one right away. Oh, right away. Sight, I felt the energy of sun rays, but I saw the life inside so shine bright to my you and me. beautiful like diamonds in the sky. I too I so what? Shine bright, 
pour like diamonds in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Palms rise as the universe as we won't shine at the least. Fill the warmth would never die. The diamonds in the sky. Your shooting star I see, vision of ecstasy When you hold me, I'm alive We're like diamonds in the sky I knew that we'd become one right away I saw the life inside to shine bright Tonight So alive, you're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright. She's beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Let's give it up for these ladies right now. You know, they're putting their all. They're putting their all out here. So right now we're going to do something special. And if you have your lights out, let me see your diamonds. Let me see your lights flashing. If you're supporting every one of these lovely ladies tonight, let me see you make some noise. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh yeah, shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rico Rolando. That was a performance. What do you yes, think? it was. I love listening to Rico sing and looking at these gorgeous girls in their gowns just one more time. It just, it, it's so fulfilling. They look so gorgeous. Don't you agree, everyone? Are, are we giving their fans a bit of an extra two seconds? I give you two seconds to scream and yell, guys. <laughs> All right, so now the contestants are going to exit the stage and make their way down the walkway to the outside audience. And they are so ready for it. I can hear them cheering already. <laughs> we did not forget you. <laughs> So long ago, but I'll tell you what, Mr. Mr. Brian, Mr. Brian, I'm kidding. <laughs> Would you like to tell us about your experience? Just kidding. But honestly, as a as knowing what the contestants are going through right now, the nerves have gone up a lot. Uh -huh. What do you think? Well, the suspense is definitely building because we are getting to that final question, which is like the penultimate 
yes. moment of the night. Yes, I think it's probably one of the most nerve-wracking moments, definitely. You know, your first, your first little, you know, appearance on stage at the very first time is very, like, you know, over the top. Yep. Oh, but I think we've the got The ladies them. are there. Here we go. Contestant number one, Narissa McLaughlin. Contestant number two, Aaliyah Solomon. Contestant number three, Georgina Kerford. Contestant number four, Tanya McLean. Contestant number five, Kimberly Carlos. Contestant number six, Antonika Ebanks. Contestant number seven, Marquita Ebanks. Contestant number eight, Aliyah Harrison. Contestant number nine, Ashley Crow. There you have it, your 2021 Cayman Islands, Miss Cayman Islands Universe contestants in the evening wear. Thank you, ladies. Well, the contestants are now making their way back to the stage for the all-important on-stage question and answer portion of the evening. And again, Anika, you talked about the soca music in the airs. We're going to have a little while of, I think they're going to be listening to soca. I don't know what they're going to listen to, but it's definitely going to assist them. It's going them to be with, loud. <laughs> <laughs> loud and hopefully helping them with their nerves as well, coming back down, getting gathering their thoughts. Yes, I know when it was my turn or waiting for the on-stage question, I was contestant number 10 the first time I entered. And having to wait for nine girls to go before you to answer your question has got to be one of the most nerve-wracking experiences. That's, that's, I don't even know how long it took, but it was a very long time to overthink things. So I had to spend a lot of time just calming myself down, remembering my Zen moments. Thank you, Chanda. Um, shout out to her. <laughs> um, you know, and just really focusing on the moment and being prepared to answer whatever question came our way. So, yes. What about the, the experience when you got on stage, I mean, took your, your headset off and you actually got the question? Then it became very real, very fast, because you have about five seconds <laughs> to pretty much come up with an answer that's intelligent, well thought out, um, enunciated clearly, has a positive message, you know, it's going to be a call to action almost, and it's just going to be an all around wonderful answer and deliver it in 30 seconds. And it's literally five seconds of thinking before you respond. Yes. All of that going through your head. Yeah, so those girls right now are running through every single thing that they've been taught through their Toastmasters training, everything that they've practiced, and they are now ready. I they believe. Are. I believe they, they are. are. They've I had so they much, you know, coaching and so much uh, rehearsals. I think I think they got this. These girls got this, right, guys? Yeah. Audience, you play a vital role this evening. So what we're going to ask you to do is to please save your applause and your screams until the contestant has finished their answer. I know you're going to want to jump out of your seat the minute you hear your contestant's response, but we would like to allow the judges to hear the whole answer in order to judge them. Because remember, they're being sure. judged for this response. It's 25% of their overall score. And of course, like you just mentioned, they only have five seconds to think about it. So all the, the excitement that's going to be happening from the audience, you know, it helps. Let's it give them really a minute as help, well. But it definitely does, but give them a minute. So at this time, I'm going to hand things back over to our MC for the evening. At but a wonderful before you time. do, I just oh. want to say that this has been a pleasure having you at this level. <laughs> I don't get, literally, I don't get to look up to people too much. I don't get to look people in their <laughs> eye too much. So this has been a pleasure and a joy. Not only 
that you are a sweet, wonderful person. So Thank it's been you. a pleasure having you here with me. For those of you watching on virtual, I'm standing on a my my niece's stool because I was too short for Anika. But she's tall and, in personality. And, and I had heels on before as well. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you for Thank allowing you me as well. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of the evening and hope everyone else continues to enjoy the girls. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when I was backstage, it appears that special arrangements were made for the MC on the right, and I wouldn't want anybody to think that it was discriminatory, and therefore I propose to remain at this height for the rest of the evening. But I think I'll have to yell for you to hear what I'm saying. You're, all you're right, up that all right, height. All right, that was fun. <laughs> oh, give it up for Derek. Didn't we miss him? Yeah. This man has a wealth of jokes. He, because of time allowing, he couldn't tell every one of them tonight, but I've heard so many throughout our rehearsals. And if you have a chance to talk to this man after the show, please do, because he is hilarious. I think you should have a comedy show. Really. Um, that's a very good idea. I've been looking for sponsors, <laughs> you know? All right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we could do that. As a matter of fact, if there's any dead spots here, I do have one or two I could mention to you. Yeah, we'll, we'll but I think we are ready now to welcome back to the stage your 2021 Miss Cayman Islands Universe contestants. <laughs> question being asked of the girl before them. And you know, for this part of the segment of the show, it's really important to consider your hairdo as well because the headsets are sometimes so large that they may, you know, kind of change up your hairstyle just yeah. a little bit. Which is why I went for this kind of short, bristly look because I didn't want it to affect the headphones. Yes, I think your hairstyle looks absolutely fabulous. I thought of a perm, but I said no, maybe not. I think that was a good decision. I think right you now think? what you have going is a great look. It's sharp. It's distinguished, as you said, you know, so it was a good choice. And what little hair I have left is gray, so <laughs> that's okay. It's all wisdom. There I you believe go. that there fully. You go. I won't admit that I have gray at all. And now, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on is that the contestants are having the headphones placed on their heads. They will not be able to hear, except, of course, for contestant number one. And it's very important that contestant number one can hear when we call her, because otherwise they would all just stay over there and not move. So we need contestant number one to be able to hear and to be able to move. 
Each contestant will be asked the same question. And you know, Anika has told you, but really, I know you have your pets and your favorites, but if the judges can't hear the whole answer, all that you've managed to do is to humbug your favorite. So let them answer the full question, then you can scream all you want. But don't scream while they are answering. Or to put that another way, while they're answering the question, just keep your liquor self quiet. That may be a challenge. Yes. <laughs> Outside, are you going to be quiet? Yeah, I think that's agreement we're hearing there. Okay, well, how are we going with the headphones, folks? I think they're still adjusting, yeah. making sure. As we said, this has been tested and retested, and it works. It's certified that they cannot hear anything, so we want to make sure. Are we all set with the headphones? Yeah, so yeah. All right, shall we test? We have yeah, to test for yeah, the audience let's, to let's, make sure that they believe us. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. So you go first. Contestant number four, please put up your left hand. Contestant number seven, do the funky chicken. Can you hear us, ladies? Looks like that's a no. All right. I think so. we're set to go. So, again, just a reminder, we can't say this enough. We would ask the audience to please allow the contestant to answer the question before you applaud. And now, everyone, I have in my hand the all-important question. Da -da -da -da. I give my own sound effects, yes. <laughs> and as far as I know, only one person knows what's in this envelope. And it's not you. And it's not me. Okay. No. And it's not me. So, oh, let me see. Testing, testing. You're supposed to say one, two, three. Oh, one, two, say I'm that. not good at this. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Would you like me to hold the microphone while you open the envelope? Or would you like to walk over there and open the envelope and hold the microphone at the same time? It may be helpful if I open it here so that okay. I don't drop it. What do you think? Open it here? Yeah? Okay, All open right. it here, okay. open it here. Just hold that for me. I'm not gonna look at it just yet, but. Yeah. I'm and we're not gonna it. tell you what it says either. <laughs> we're gonna tell number one though. Right. And then number two. Keep going. So now the envelope is opened and I have the question in my hand. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as they say in the movies, this is it. I'm going to ask contestant number one Nerissa McLaughlin. I hope you've got the screaming out of your system until she answers the question. are you doing? Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. A thousand percent ready. I'm going to ask you the question twice and then hand you the microphone. Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. 
how do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Having been through that experience already, I feel that jobs should be more open to giving us younger generation the opportunity to advance in their establishments. We've all started somewhere, and I feel that once we've, we've gotten the chance, we can excel and do anything we put our minds to. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies, can we have contestant number two, Aliyah Solomon? How are you feeling? Great, thank you. And yourself? Good. Are you ready? I think so. I'm going to ask you the question twice and then hand you the microphone. Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Thank you for that question. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I believe the way businesses can assist young persons is by believing in them, encouraging them, and just giving them faith that no matter what age you are in life, you can put your mind to anything and the sky is the limit. I believe the reason why employment rate is so low as people may feel younger people do not have the experience needed for the job. But I believe that once you put your mind to it, you can do anything. <laughs> That brings us to contestant number three, Georgina Kerfoot. I'm going to ask you the question twice and hand you the microphone. Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think that businesses can help by doing internships. I am very passionate about education, and I feel that in Cayman, when people come back from university, they cannot find a job, even if they have master's or bachelor's degree. We need to tell businesses to give internships, to give the opportunity so these students can come back from Cayman and all around the world and get the job that they want. We need to give the opportunity to the youth to show that they can and they will become great workers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
that brings us, ladies and gentlemen, to contestant number four, Tanya McLean. <laughs> Tanya, how are you feeling? Are you ready? Pretty good yourself? Good, thanks. I'm going to ask you the question twice and hand you the microphone. Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I strongly believe that businesses should believe in young generation. They should give opportunities to young people, well, to everyone, and I strongly believe that if everybody put their heart in everything they do, they, they can accomplish everything in life. Thank you. Ladies, can you let us have contestant number five, Ms. Kimberly Carlos. Good evening, Kimberly. How are you feeling? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. I'm very well. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm going to ask you the question twice and hand you the microphone. Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I feel for these adolescents and young adults who are looking for jobs and who are seeking opportunities within our workforce. Cayman has a multitude of talented, educated, and skillful young people, and I would like to call upon all services, the private sector, public sector, to offer them mentorship programs and give them an opportunity to utilize their services and education here in Cayman. Our young children are our return on investment and our most valuable asset. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome contestant number six, Ms. Antonika Ibanks. Good evening, Antonika. How are you feeling? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to ask you the question twice and hand you the microphone. Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? 
young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Thank you. With the unemployment rate for those 18 to 25, I feel that a lot of workplaces can have internships or apprenticeships, which will assist those in getting into the workforce because many workplaces ask for job experience. However, it's quite difficult at that time to have work experience because persons are coming out of either university or college or they're just coming out of high school. So I feel that they should have internships and apprenticeships to help those along with their job search. Thank you. Now is the turn of contestant number seven, Marquita Evans. Good evening, Marquita. How are you doing? Are you ready? Good evening, Anika. I sure am. I'm going to ask you the question twice and hand you the microphone. Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? I think that businesses can assist these young job seekers by connecting with our local colleges and providing training and on-the-job um, mentorship and shadowing opportunities that will give them the experience that they need to fill roles that expect experience. <laughs> Surprise, ladies and gentlemen, that contestant number seven is followed by contestant number eight, Aaliyah Harrison. <laughs> Good evening, Aliyah. How are you feeling? Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going to ask you the question twice and hand you the microphone. Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In my opinion, I feel that the government officials, teachers, and parents should work hand in hand to make our education system help our young people of Cayman to leave school with the basic life skills to help lower our unemployment rate in the Cayman Islands. I believe that businesses will help those young people if they have the right basic skills. Thank you. A 
Valeria leaves us, we turn to contestant number nine, it's Ashley Crow. <laughs> Good evening, Ashley. How are you feeling? Are you ready? I am ready. I'm excited. I'm happy to be here. I'm going to ask you the question twice and hand you the microphone. Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Young persons between ages 18 to 25 years old experience the highest rates of unemployment for all persons of working age. How do you think businesses can assist these job seekers? Thank you. I would first like to say that businesses can assist with this by ensuring that their workers are well compensated and providing an environment that encourages wellness both of the mind, body, and soul, whether it is doing incentives to work out in the gym, incentives to go to a spiritual place of healing, um, therapy options. I think the more options you provide as a business for your employees to really encourage them to do their best is really the way to go and really provide the most opportunities. Thank you. to join me in thanking all of our beautiful contestants for going through that most difficult part of the evening which is now over. So a round of applause for all of our contestants. Yes, right now they are feeling the weight of the world lifting from their shoulders now that the question and answer period is over and they can relax and it won't be long now when we announce the new 2020 Miss Cayman Islands Universe winner. We'd also like to say here that the new queen will also make a quick appearance outside after she is crowned. Unfortunately, yes, <laughs> they're cheering. Um, unfortunately, she won't be able to interact or take photos uh, with the audience at that time, but she will make an appearance. So no, no hugging up when she goes out there, okay? And the judges have completed their job this evening. And now it's time for the tallyers to total the score sheets. Harry Belafonte can eat your heart out. <laughs> no bananas, remember? No bananas, no bananas. <laughs> it's poison. And in due course, we will actually announce who the new Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2021 is. That's right, Derek. And the tallyers are going to be busy checking and rechecking the score sheets. But as they do that, let's please welcome our reigning Miss Cayman Islands Universe, Mariah Tibbetts, for her final walk. Mariah has been an amazing ambassador for our islands, and she placed first runner-up in 2019 and was crowned the 2020 Miss Cayman Islands Universe following the COVID-19 lockdown last year. During her reign, Mariah competed on the Miss Universe stage. Here she is in her final walk. Please welcome Mariah. Our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. That was the quote I used on my application to enter the Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant. Little did I know that this quote would go on to define my journey to the crown and beyond. Destiny is a funny thing. 
Just when you think your road has come to an end, you uncover a whole new path. If you would have told me two years ago that I would be standing before you today as Miss Cayman Islands Universe, that I would walk the Miss Universe stage on live TV and be able to say, Mariah Tibbetts, Cayman Islands, and that I would be doing all of this during a global pandemic, there's no way that I would have believed you. But as your resident COVID queen, I'm here to tell you that you are, in fact, powerful beyond measure. This role is truly incredible. On the outside, people may have seen the more than 200 events, appearances, and interviews I've done this past year, the pretty gowns and makeup, and the sparkly crown. But what people can't see are the things that really make you a queen. Things like letting a little girl wear your crown and seeing her eyes light up. Things like launching my own scholarship with my sisters to support Caymanians' educational goals and things like personally granting the last wish of a young Caymanian girl battling cancer. These are the moments where I was truly able to make my mark. There were days when I doubted myself and days when I wondered if I was doing a good job or if I was even making a difference. The growth I've experienced this year has taught me that there is no force equal to a woman determined to rise. I put my heart and soul into everything I did this year, and I'm proud of myself for the obstacles I've overcome and for gracefully navigating my way around a pandemic. This year has challenged me, forced me out of my comfort zone, and taught me things about myself that I never knew. But ultimately, this year has given me an even deeper connection to my country and my fellow Caymanians. I wish I could spend all night thanking every person who has helped me this year. Most of you will never understand the true impact you made on my life. Thank you to every sponsor, trainer, chaperone, makeup artist, hairdresser, photographer, organizer, supporter, friend, encourager, and every single person that I have met and interacted with throughout the year. First and foremost, I thank God every day for granting me this amazing opportunity. As a God-fearing Christian woman, I am not naive to the fact that he knew this was part of my life's journey long before I saw it coming, and he put me in this position for a reason. Thank you to the committee for everything you've done for me. I truly appreciate all the effort and time you have put in. To my sponsors, Uncle Parker, Keith, Rhea, and the whole ACE team, thank you for making my dreams come true. I will never forget my last conversation with Uncle Parker. He said, Cayman Islands is Miss Universe. His words have kept me going. To my family, I can never really repay you for all that you've done for me. Thank you for being with me during all the crazy days, rushing to events, driving me around, zipping up my gowns, fixing my hair, taking my pictures, feeding me, strategy and planning sessions, endless encouragement, support, love, prayers, and so much more. You have all put your lives on pause for me, and I am forever grateful. Mom and Dad, I owe everything to you and the woman you have raised me to be. You gave me the nickname Princess as a child, and I can't help but think that you manifested this reality for me. To my siblings, where would I be without each of you? I have to give an extra special thank you to my sister, Manelli. There are not enough words for all the ways you have helped me. I'm so grateful that God gave me you as a sister. To my nephew, Mr. Aiden, I can't wait to retell all these stories when you're older. Thanks for keeping me grounded and reminding me that no matter if I'm wearing a crown or if I'm at Miss Universe, at the end of the day, I'm still just Yaya. To the Cayman Islands Cancer Society, thank you for welcoming me into your family, letting me share my sister's story, and for every bit of support you have given me. If you haven't realized yet, you're now stuck with me forever. To every single family member and friend, you all will never know how much your love and support has meant to me. Thank you for being a part of my reign. I love each and every one of you endlessly. The end of that quote I used on my application is, it is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented and fabulous. Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. 
As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. I can only hope that someone else saw my light shine this year and that I sparked something within them to let theirs shine too. While I am sad that this amazing journey has come to an end, it's time for another woman's life to change tonight. I'm ending this year with a heart overflowing with gratitude, appreciation, and so much love. Thank you, Cayman, for accepting me as I am and for giving me the opportunity to discover the fire within myself. Thank you for showering me with love and support and for letting me represent all 70,000 of us. I will always be your Caymanian girl. Thank you, universe. I can't wait to see what you have in store for me next. Your Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2020, Mariah Tibbetts. We would like to call committee chair Derry and former Miss Cayman Islands Universe Khadija Bodden to make a special presentation to Mariah. to take a moment to acknowledge her platform for her reign, cancer awareness and support. Mariah has worked closely with the Cayman Islands Cancer Society and has had the opportunity to interact with several amazing cancer warriors, not to mention being able to share her older sister's story of being a cancer survivor. Tonight, Mariah would like to pay a special tribute to all those fighting cancer, especially young cancer fighters, just like her sister, who was just six years old when she was diagnosed with brain cancer. Mariah considers her long hair one of her most defining features and one she has treasured her whole life. But to her, a head full of hair pales in comparison to the inner beauty and strength of those fighting cancer every day. Tonight, she is cutting her hair to donate to make wigs for young pediatric oh. cancer patients. Ashley Walton, this is for you. Jalea Gauntlet, this is for you. To her older sister, Martika, this is for you. She loves you endlessly. Mariah says that the crown on her head right now means nothing if she doesn't use it to represent true queens like you. There you have it, folks. Her locks donated to make pediatric wigs for cancer patients. Anika, Thank you. there's not a dry eye in this room. I struggled to hold back my tears as I was reading. I really did.
Yeah. It's so touching for her to make that gesture. contribution. Thank you so much, Mariah. Mariah has had a really amazing year. She soared to new heights, and we want to wish her the very best in her next chapter. I, I don't think we can go on from there. No. <laughs> okay. I think we need to take a moment to just soak that in because that that's not an easy contribution to that make. Was, that was stunning. Because, you know, as beauty queens, our hair is part of who we are. It, it's an essence. We spend hours and hours and hundreds and thousands of dollars on our hair to make mm. it look the best that it can be. So to, to donate that to those in need is a, a true testament to just how beautiful a queen Mariah is. And the, the symbolism of that sacrifice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're waiting on the judges and the tallies. The script says that we are to ad lib until we get the final signal. Now, I looked up what ad lib means, and it means speaking about something without previous preparation. And you do that well. So, here are three or four things that we could speak about without previous preparation. Where will the 2021 Miss Universe pageant be held? We could do that without preparing for it. We could talk about the role of the winner, surprise, surprise. We wouldn't even have to prepare for that. We could also encourage other young women to enter next year and experience the growth in entering competitions like this. So, Anika, could we ad lib about one of these without previous preparation? I think we're going to talk about the sponsors. And okay. we don't need to ad lib for that because we okay. have the list. And okay. we just want to really we can do that. give them their acknowledgement and just, you know, show our support for the sponsors who have supported the contestants to make sure that this night is a success. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have a list of the sponsors. And I think if we could go back to them, of course, from memory, we have the government of the Cayman Islands, the Ministry of Tourism, Cayman Airways, Compass Media, Gold uh, Platinum Sponsor, um, the, the Westin. But we don't have to ad lib anymore, Derek. Why is that? You know why? Why? Because the committee and all the hands that were involved in preparing this evening put in place right now for us to be entertained once again by Miss Erica Asai. Ad lib session is over. over. <laughs> so everyone, please give a, a warm round of applause for Miss Erica Asai. Oh, I hate 
streets when I break into pieces. Turn to you, hoping you could fix me. And the thunder keeps on getting loud as we wait for the rain to fall. And the lightning keeps on blinding us until we see nothing at all. And the rain falls on me, and the storm takes rain. Oh, my psyche, then it trumps me in pain. So, this is where my demons hide. Is this where the old reside? Is this where my demons hide? Is this and all oh, they take it all and leave me just this shell. And oh, I still get more help than anybody for myself. Is this where my demons hide? Is this where they overside? Is this where my demons hide? Is this where they all reside? And the rain falls on me, and the storm takes rain. Over my psyche, then they drop me in. Then it drops Give it up one more time for Miss Erica. All right, so the results are not in yet. What? I know, right? But we have to take time, make sure that it's counted correctly, recorded accurately. We want to give you the right results, you know, because we don't want, I won't, well, someone said it, but I won't say it. We don't want a, a repeat of that in Cayman, right? We want to make sure that it's accurate and it's all good. So, yes, we're going to take our time. But for now, what are we going to do, Derek? We are going to mention the sponsors. Yes. Definitely have to mention the sponsors. Cayman Islands Government, the Ministry of Tourism and Transport, Cayman Airways, Compass Media, Radio Cayman. Platinum sponsor, Weston Resort and Spa. Gold sponsors, Sand Angels, Kirk Freeport, Government Information Services Video Unit, Hopscotch Productions, Seductive Beauty, Bellagio Salon and Spa, and Flow. And the contestant sponsors who really make such a huge difference to the, the, the whole contest. Personnel 2000, Waves Fashions and Fashion Mart, the MPs for Georgetown South and West, Cayman Rehab and Gemstar Limited, Kirk Freeport, Scott's Equipment, the Ebanks Clan, Pro Plus Gardening, King Sports Center, and a special mention to Blue Water for the PPE equipment which they provided to the pageant. And we can't forget the trainers, Caitlin Tyson and Kimberly Connolly. So let's give a round of applause one more time for our sponsors. No, the, 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 the Taliban song. Are you going to sing it, Derek? I feel no. like you want to sing No, I'm just going to tell you the second okay. verse of it where they say, and this is for the benefit of the Taliyas. Okay. It says, day they light and me won't go home. Ah. Not rushing them, no pressure. <laughs> we just but, did say no but, pressure. But that's so what the song sure says, right. right? Come, Mr. Taliban, tell me banana. Day the light on me won't go home. I didn't say it. it's Harry. It's my boy Harry. Mm -hmm. Now, there are lots of young ladies out there. 
who may not have thought of entering pageants like this. And I wonder what impact seeing all the glamour and all the opportunity means for that 10 or 12 year old girl out there who's thinking, hmm, maybe I could be Miss Cayman. Does it make a difference? It does. You actually just reminded me of one of the reasons why I ended up entering Miss Cayman. When I was, I think, around the same age, 10 or 12, around that area, I went to watch the Miss Cayman Islands pageant, and the winner that year was Michelle Scott. And I tell her this all the time when I see her. And just seeing her up on that stage and you know, rocking the stage, doing her best in her beautiful gown, swimwear, and speaking so eloquently and intelligently, I said to myself at that young age, I would like that to be me one day. So it is a huge impact. So to all the girls out there listening, you may feel sometimes that you're not enough, that you don't fit the image, but once you have the heart, the determination, the dedication, the resolve, you have what it takes. And you just need to take that step, send in that application form, you'll hear when they're open for next year, and be ready for a journey of a lifetime because it's amazing, yes. And you know, because of COVID, we had to do some special stuff this week. Uh, and we had to do some special stuff between last week, Friday night, when we were ready to go, and this week when we had to get ready to go again. One of the things that we've done, and I don't know whether it'll work in the future, is to have a crew that's outside. The outside crew has been spectacular. They sure and have. And I think we need to hear from the outside crew one more time. Oh, you, they love it. You, you hear that? You hear Do you that? guys hear that? Yeah, you're all in here soft, you know what I mean? The outside crew definitely have you up, definitely. Well, I guess we should check on the inside crew. Yeah, what's the inside crew saying? How are you here? guys feeling? Yeah, I think we've got some comp competition. Yeah, outside crew, let us hear you again. Definitely getting that pitch up there. Inside audience, how are you feeling? Yeah. Now everyone together. Are you ready to find out who the new Miss Cayman Islands universe will be? Everyone together. I don't think they're ready. No. No, they didn't sound like they're ready. I think they want to go home. We can wrap it up. Let's close it off here. We're done. Good night, everyone. See you later. How, I don't think you'll get out of here alive. No? No. <laughs> no. Are you ready to find out who the new Miss Cayman Islands universe will be? We can't be ready until the Italians are ready. Well, I don't we look can like feel ready at least. Ready. They're working hard, though. Well, you know, they, they told me not to do this. Oh, boy. Here it comes. But we knew it was coming. There are lots of audiences around the world where you'd have to explain to them what the phrase, you don't know, means. This audience, I don't have to explain what you don't know means. Correct? You know That's where it comes from? That's a nod of affirmation right there. You know where it comes from? I think you should enlighten me as well as those that may not know. There was a lady who was not good looking like our contestants, walking down the street. And she passed a man's house and the man had a parrot. And the parrot called out to her and said, Lady, how are you so ugly? She didn't say anything. The next morning, the lady was walking again, and the parrot called out to her, Lady, how are you so ugly? Well, she was very upset. She went and saw the parrot's owner and complained, and the parrot's owner called him and said, Let me explain something to you. That behavior is not acceptable. And if you trouble that lady again, you will not be on the veranda. You will be around the back. You won't see nobody. As a matter of fact, you may not even get any bread and water. You understand me clearly? Yes, sir. Following morning, the lady is passing again. And the parrot says, Lady, you don't know. <laughs> I told you, this guy was full of them. He's, you got to have your own show, okay? We have to talk about this. Yeah, you, do, you, you don't know. <laughs> and thus did the parrot escape punishment worse than death. There we go. 
So I'm not sure if, if we have more uh, ad-libbing too. I have other stories I can tell. Not all of them are fit for television. We'll leave those ones off air, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, this, the Miss Cayman competition is more or less like the Olympic Games. This is the, the top, tough competition. We just had the Olympic Games in, in uh, somewhere the other, Tokyo, I think, yeah. The tickets are very expensive, and there were these three guys standing up outside, had no money to buy a ticket. There's an American, an Indian, and a brethren of mine from Jamaica. Represent. <laughs> so the American had a bright idea. He went away and put on a New York Yankees outfit and came back with a baseball bat, went to the security guard, and said, my name is O'Sullivan. I'm from the United States. I'm representing them at baseball. Security guard let him in. You know that Olympic sport with the fighting mm -hmm. and thing? soon come back to Okay, that. all right. The Indian guy, taking a cue from that, went away, put on an athletic outfit, got a hockey stick, came back, went to the security guy and said, my name is Singh, I'm from India, I'm representing the country at hockey. So the security let him in. So the two of them are inside now looking out, my brethren outside, and trying to figure out how is he going to get in? Only to see him walking down with some two before, and two roll of barbed wire. And he got to the security and he says, Jones, Jamaica, fencing. <laughs> I tell you, Caribbean people have got to be yeah, the most yeah, we're interesting, the, we're the creative best. people we're the best. on this earth. Am I right? We're, we're the best. But I hear a lady laughing around there. You know that that joke <laughs> just arrived over that side. It just, it just got there. Oh, man. It just wow. got there. Oh, but just just once again, want to say that, you know, these young ladies have worked so hard over the past few months to come to this night. I mean, when you talk to them, you'll hear about their just their day. Sometimes it's waking yeah. up, going to the gym. And if they're working, they have to go to work. And then after work, they're doing a training session of some sort, whether it's with the Toastmasters or runway, um, their own personal training or working out again you know, or practicing questions. So it's, it's a full day, which leads into a full week. And then there is the events and the appearances that they have to go to. So it is a very busy schedule. So anything that they win here, they, what the point is, they've earned it. They, did, they didn't say Wholeheartedly, they, they, they've, they've 100%. Earned they've earned it. Yes, yes. No, not everybody's of that same view. I mean, for example, there was this fellow who was a blacksmith and he used to steal a lot of stuff. Poor fellow died, he went to the pearly gates. St. Peter met him. And St. Peter said, uh, I don't see your name on the list. I'm gonna to have to go inside and check with management to see whether I can let you in. So St. Peter disappears, he comes back and the man is gone. And so were the pearly gates. Oh goodness. <laughs> the man thief the two gates. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. That one just hit me too. It just hit you? <laughs> yeah. There's a lady over there doubling up in pain, but that's all right. Oh, I have a stitch. Oh, that's too much, too much laughter. Too much laughter. <laughs> so at, at this rate, the Talias are about to get me into trouble. You know that. <laughs> but anyway. You have to keep it PG for the audience listening from all over the world, I think. And I would hope that we have some uh, persons listening in from all over the world. So hello to you and Hope you've been enjoying the show tonight and and we've had a great time huh i think so we've had a great yes. time and you know yes. you, you speak about the support that means so much to the contestants i would really like to say on behalf of both of us to the audience here the audience outside and all you folks out there in radio and tv land that your support has been an inspiration for us to have some fun with you tonight so Give yourselves a round of applause for that. Yes. Great audience, indeed. Now, we are beginning to push the envelope here. Just to, just, just to, just you to love to talk about your envelopes. Yeah. I'll tell you, this guy, for every single rehearsal, he has been on it about the envelopes, wanting to make sure, you know, what's the setup, when's he going to get the envelope, yeah. how is it going to look. 
If it's going to be embroidered, if it's going to be, you know, pink with, with perfume on it. If anyone's ever watched Legally Blonde, they'll understand that reference. You know, what is it with you in the envelopes? Well, Lynn Whitaker has the job of bringing me the envelope. Oh. So I've been asking her, Lynn, what's the story with the envelope? But Lynn can't give me the envelope until the envelope is ready. So is it the envelope or is it Miss Lynn? I think it's a combination. Okay. <laughs> but Miss Lynn is in deep consultation with the Belafonte crew. Oh, I hear a request for another joke. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know if we have any more. I don't know. Let's I mean, see what he pulls out of his hat. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's not as easy. I am to not do. the joke person. My mm. family will tell you that I am the one who will tell the cheesiest, corniest jokes. So I leave that all to him. And he's been doing a spectacular job, haven't he? Hasn't he, audience? Well. I would have to say that out of all of the people that I have had to co-host with, I think, Derek, you are one of the best. Well, I thank you very much. Well, that's a fairly low bar because she's never co-hosted with anybody else before. So I that's, a, that's a slightly backhanded compliment, you know? That was 100% genuine. <laughs> yeah, out, out of the one person that I have co-hosted with, I have to tell you, you're absolutely the best. I meant it. I, I meant it to sound genuine, though. Well, I tell you, it's, it's not as easy as you think. You know what I mean? No, it's definitely not. It's we not have as to easy as you think. go by the script, and then if things change and we have to ad lib, we have to. You yeah, know. but then, you know, during the rehearsals, folks, one night Anika couldn't come. So another night, Delisa couldn't come. And so I was both Delisa and Anika, and myself. And how was that experience? It was fantastic, but here, here's the problem. No heels. No. There are, in fact, three signs of madness. The first sign is when you start to talk to yourself. No, 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 no. I think I've heard this before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second sign is when you start to answer and talk back. What do you mean by that? Who said that? I did. What? But there's a third sign is when you say, listen to those two damn fools over there talking. Oh my goodness. I but see Lynn Whitaker. Do I see an Whitaker. envelope? Woo. All right. Derek's going to head over to Miss Lynn to collect the envelope. The official handover is complete. Derek now holds the results that we've all been waiting for this evening. Derek, I'm so excited right now. And I think that everyone will agree that they are also excited. Well, the first thing you need to understand is that inflation is a serious problem in the society. Why do I tell you that? Because with inflation, the one envelope has become two. That means twice the fun. Twice as much fun. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah. What about outside? They're Out, ready. Outside is ready. What about out there in Radio Land? Are you all ready? <laughs> yep, they're thank ready. You, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> all you right, very let's much. have all the contestants come back out on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, for one final time, please welcome to the stage your nine. 2021 Miss Cayman Islands Universe contestants.
Now, committee members are on standby to present the prizes. We have seven specialty prizes, and we're going to do them one at a time. Mm -hmm. But before the specialty prizes, the contestants are going to receive a gift bag, compliments of pageant sponsor Kirk Freeport. And we'd like to call a representative from Kirk Freeport to present each young lady with their gift bag now. And we're just doing this to add to the suspense, you understand? We could have done this before, but that wouldn't be nearly as much fun. We need, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. We need Kirk and Freeport. Are they both here? I think it's just one word. It's just one word, is it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Kirk Freeport. Just, just one okay, time. We need, we need Kirk Freeport. And we'd like to sincerely thank the contributors for contributors for their gifts that these young women will receive this evening. Each contestant will also receive a gift certificate from Penna and from our national flag carrier, Cayman Airways, in their gift bags. We sincerely thank Cayman Airways for their support over the years. So at the risk of being repetitious, do we have either Kirk or his brother, Freeport? I think it's actually the committee members that are giving them their gift bags. Okay, wonderful. On behalf of... On behalf of Kirk, of Kirk, Kirk Freeport. Kirk Freeport. All, one word. All one word. <laughs> And Kirk Freeport has done an amazing job over the years. They faithfully support the pageant, you know, giving makeup sessions, doing makeup for the girls, for events um, throughout the years, and also sponsoring so many gifts. So we just want to acknowledge just the wonderful contribution that Kirk Freeport has made over the years. Faithful every year. Thank you, Kirk Freeport. And, you know, as with all the sponsors, if you can support those businesses, it's very important because these are people who have put themselves out to help us enjoy a pageant like this. So for all the sponsors, if you have the opportunity to support them, you really should. Yeah. And just another testament to the importance or impact of sponsors. I know that my, my two sponsors, which were at the time Renaissance Salon and Spa and Edge Athletics, uh, Ruthanna and Glenn, they were not just my sponsors, but they also became my mentor. Okay. and friends so you know the impact of a sponsor in a contestant's life is, is wonderful huge all right so first award okay so miss most improved this award is newly added to the list of awards this year and it's based on feedback given by pageant partners who have worked closely with the contestants from the beginning. And the winner of the most improved award is? Contestant number? Eight. Eight. Aaliyah Harrison. The award is going to be presented by committee member Kevin Dawkins. That's not Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next we have Miss Congeniality. This award is decided upon among the contestants and the list of prizes is in your program. The winner of Miss Personality is? Miss Congeniality. Miss Congeniality, yes. Is contestant number seven. Marquita Ebanks. <laughs> She's also being presented with her prize by committee chair, Derek. During the swimsuit competition, one of the elements was best legs. And so there's a prize for best legs. 
So the next prize goes to the contestant who was adjudged to have the best legs. And that contestant is contestant number three. This award is decided upon by pageant photographers and videographers who worked with the contestants this year. And the winner of Miss Photogenic is... Contestant number three. Georgina Kerford. Ladies and gentlemen, the tallies have explained something to us. There are one, two, three cases where there is in fact a tie. But the way in which the sheet was presented does not make that clear until it was explained to us. So one of those three is the prize for miscongeniality. And the tie is between contestant number seven and contestant number nine. Marquita Ebanks and Ashley Crow. <laughs> For best legs, there was also a tie with contestant number three, Georgina Kerford, and contestant number eight, Aaliyah Harrison. The next prize is for Miss Best Smile. And in the case of Miss Best Smile, there's only one winner. No confusion this time. And that winner is contestant number? Nine, Ashley Crow. <laughs> Next, we have Miss Best in Gown. Tonight, this award will go to the contestant who wore their gown best. And? We have a tie. The Best in Gown prize is a tie between contestant number three and contestant number eight. Georgina Kerford and Aaliyah Harrison. gentlemen, we have one other specialty award, and that's the People's Choice. The winner of the People's Choice Award was voted for online and bears no weight on the overall winner. This prize has been sponsored by Compass Media, and so we'd like to ask the representative of Compass Media to come on stage and to make this award. Welcome Mark Lee and Doug Dodds. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, a very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and members of parliament, and of course, uh, His Excellency, the Governor, who is here with us this evening as well. It's a great pleasure to be here on behalf of Compass Media, and every single year over the last couple of years within this Cayman Islands universe, we've been privileged and honoured to receive the People's Choice Award votes online. Uh, Doug, tell everyone how it's done. So what we've done with our four radio stations, with uh, Gold FM, also Irie, uh, excuse me, Island FM, also Rooster 101 and Z99, we had listeners click on. We had tens of thousands of votes, a record amount of votes this year for the People's Choice Award for these nine ladies. What is the winner this year? We'll find out. We got to thank everyone for being a part of it. First of all, much love to Mariah Tibbetts, our reigning queen, by the way, again, who was so great with our radio station. She was great as a reigning queen this year and an awesome queen for Miss Cayman Islands. It's been an exceptional year for voting. In fact, I just spoke to the team on our social media platforms just before we came on stage, and it's the biggest year of voting we've ever had across all four radio stations. So that shows credit to the amazing young women that we've got here on stage this evening. Now all we need is an envelope. So uh, hopefully someone has got the envelope, which we will be able to open shortly and find out who is the winner of the People's Choice Award for 2021. Sadly, the people that were in charge of hosting this have just left the stage. They did not leave us with an envelope. So hopefully someone will give us uh, the winner very shortly and uh, we will be able to <laughs> announce who the People's Choice Award winner is and we'll have a little golden envelope or something. It's like the Oscars, just not quite as cool. Right. So, Mark, it's interesting how they say uh, buy time on a Anika, who did a great job, yeah. by the way, hosting and these guys. Buy time or, or spend more time talking about whatever. What I need is the winner. Okay. Uh, the lovely Anika, former Miss Cayman Islands Universe, has just told me who the winner is. Mark. And we'd just like to say congratulations to Aaliyah Harrison. Yeah! <laughs> Aaliyah, congratulations. Doug has got your award, the People's Choice Award for 2021 from Compass Media, Mr. Aaliyah Harrison. Excitement continues. Everybody give it up for our ladies. Now we have envelope number two. And there's something I need to tell you about envelope number two. The script has an elaborate process for what happens if there is a tie for the winner. We do not know yet. We are going to open the envelope. If there is a tie, then we will go into the protocol for ties. Everybody good with that? Outside. I see some people on the edge of their seats. They're like, they want to know what's in the envelope. Yeah, so Let's open it. So we're going to open it. And the first thing is whether there is a tie. The anticipation is killing me too. <laughs> Can't get it. Ah, okay. All right, and here it comes. One moment, folks. I don't know where Stevie Harvey is when you need him. All right, I just wanted to double check. If there was a tie for the winner, then somewhere about now is the time that we would be obliged to tell you. Roughly speaking. 
we do have in the case of the second runner-up two young ladies who are equal the protocol that we have doesn't have a tiebreaker for second runner-up. It has a tiebreaker for further down. You know what I'm talking about. The, the other ones. Yeah? You want me to spell it out or, you, or you're good? You're good? Okay. So I think the result of that is that there is a joint prize for the second runner-up. No tiebreaker. Well, we've got a little bit too much going on up here. We've got a lot of stuff going on up <laughs> here. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to know who the second runners up are? <laughs> it's crucial before, however, that you know what the prizes are. <laughs> Just quickly, a reminder that the second runner-up will receive a two-year educational scholarship, one free round-trip airline ticket to the Sister Islands, a two-night stay at Kaibo 7-Up, gift certificates to Lash Out, JD Beauty Salon and Barbers, the Blue Hair Salon and Spa, and Life Coaching. And ladies and gentlemen, the two young ladies who are tying to be the second runner-up quite high numbers. Contestant number eight and contestant number nine. Aaliyah Harrison and Ashley Crow. The second runner-up will be slashed by two members of the Miss Cayman Islands Universe Committee. The script says one, and we have two. Congratulations, Aaliyah Harrison and Ashley Crow. Now, for the first runner up, this is a vital role. In the event that the Miss Cayman Islands universe is unable to fulfill her role and duties, the first runner-up will take over the title. The first runner-up will receive a two-year educational scholarship, flowers, one free round-trip airline ticket to Miami, life coaching, a six-month gym membership to King Sports Center, gift certificates to the Blue Hair Salon and Spa, JD Beauty Salon and Barbers, and Lash Out. Are you ready to find out who our first runner-up is? Well, first of all, if there is a tie, we, we'd have to tell you now. I think they're sweating. I mean, look, I'm looking because at this gentleman to our right here. He is like sweating. He's, he really wants to know who the winner is. Yeah, he, this, so, you can see the beads of sweat. Yeah, Maybe you uh, lend him your, your handkerchief. Lucy. <laughs> I have a nice pretty go. handkerchief here. <laughs> Maybe uh, loosen your tie, you know, take, take a deep breath. So, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have a tie. No you're, tie, no tie. You're, you're welcome. No you're tie. Welcome. You're welcome. All right. Our first runner up is contestant number five, Kimberly Carlos. <laughs> Again, if for any reason Miss Cayman Islands Universe cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will be asked to serve instead. Congratulations, Kimberly. Redeem Mariah. With her new hairdo. Yeah, with her new hairdo, because Mariah is going to crown and sash the one that there is no tie for. 
She is going to crown the new 2021 Miss Cayman Islands Universe. All right. So let's find out. Not yet. Oh, We're, wait. I'm, no. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm so excited. You have to run through the prizes. Oh, again. okay. All right. I'll let you do that one. Since I There's did. a $70,000 three-year education scholarship. There's a brand new 2019 Kia Motor Vehicle. There's a free round trip ticket to any Cayman Airlines Airways destination. There's jewelry from the fine jewelry designer, Charlie Lapson, and there are a bunch of other prizes as well. Oh, he made it short. How gracious. Thank you, Derry. Yeah, you see, this, he understands the essence of time. He's think, he's, Everyone wants, yeah, these <laughs> she's things ready. are easy. Outside, <laughs> are you ready? You are ready. You're ready. You're ready. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, just before we announce the winner, we would like to ask that you please do not access the stage until the new queen has been serenaded and she returns from outside and official photos and interviews are done. We know you want to take pictures and, and congratulate our winner, but we're asking to please wait until all of the official photos, interviews, and the serenade have been completed. And access is a polite word for rush. Don't rush the stage. Polite we say, don't access the stage. Don't rush it. No, just yes. chill. Okay? I wonder if the audience can guess who the winner is. Let's no, see. Do no you guys chance. know who the winner is? No, they don't know. Them don't know. Them don't no, know. They, don't, they just want us them to don't. tell them. They want okay. us to tell them. So All right. I, guess, I guess we should tell them now then. I guess we should. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Miss Cayman Islands Universe Competition for 2021 is contestant, contestant number, number three, three, Georgina Crawford. Congratulations, Georgina Kerford. She is our new Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2021. We'd now like to welcome to the stage to serenade our new Miss Cayman Islands Universe singing My Caymanian Girl, Mr. Berman Scott. I'm 
girls are nice, nice girls. French girls too. But when it comes to loving, I'll give my love to you. You know how to do your thing to make a man feel nice. Give him all the good of love that all is satisfied. Cause you're my companion girl. Said you're my companion girl. We would now like to call the minister you're my of the tourism to come and escort the new Miss Canada's universe to the lawn. You're my Our honor for the transport, Mr. Kenneth Bryant, will be escorting our new Miss Cayman Islands universe to the lawn for our audience outside to see our new Miss Cayman Islands universe, Georgina Herbert. You know how to do your thing to make a man feel nice. Give him all the good or love, and all is satisfied. Said you my gay man, your girl. 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 Said you my gay man, your girl. I've traveled all over the world, and I've made love to many, many girls. Of all the girls that I have met, you are the one girl that I can't forget. Cause you're my gay man, your girl. 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 You're my gay man. Oh, you're my companion, girl. I've traveled all over this world And I've made love to many, many girls of all the girls that I have met, you are the one girl that I can't forget. Cause you're my gay man, young girl. 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 Do your thing to make a man feel nice. Give him all the good of love and all it satisfies. Cause you might be man, your girl. 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 African girls are nice, nice girls. French girls too. When it comes to loving, oh, I'll give my love to you. You know how to do your thing to make a man feel nice. Give him all the good on love, then all is satisfied. You're my gay man, young girl. You're my gay man, young girl. You're my gay man, young girl. You're my gay man, 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 you're